Hello? Hello, hello? <laughs> Have you never been to the start of my stream? Was, was that a Five Nights reference you're starting with? <laughs> Maybe. Quality. Solid. Well, what we're doing tonight is just as scary. <laughs> yeah. As existing in a closed environment with living animatronics. Truly. Which is uh, consuming candy which will rot your teeth. Theoretical candy. Yeah. Theoretically which we're consuming. Debating. <laughs> theoretically consuming fake candy. Yeah, so, hi, Bo. So, uh, <laughs> you can also see Chad over here. I'm not sure mm -hmm. what's in here. Um, Professional. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So, yes, today we'll be uh, we'll be going through a tier list maker and uh, <laughs> ranking candy, because why not? Um, we will be we will be debating and presumably compromising on what there will we be agree. some there will be some compromising I am sure uh, and looking at this list there are definitely going to be some that we have no idea about mm -hmm. if we have a specific tier for it don't worry um, before we get started let's establish the context for okay. this so are we are we looking at these as as snacks as viability when paired with other things are we like in a movie theater? How how, like, how completely in depth with this are we going? Exactly. Um, <laughs> I think that we should we should rank these based on uh, general comparisons with surrounding candies. So, in purely a general environment, if you're sitting down and you're like, I'm gonna consume some candy, not like I need candy because it's Halloween, not because like I need candy because um, I'm getting married today and I deserve it. I just need some candy. So literally just like if you sit down and would grab candy, what would you go for? That's that's where okay. I think we should go. Yes. I think that's I think that's a reasonable... I think that I think that it's entirely fair for us to to like bring other things into that as long as we're like contextualizing it beforehand. Yeah, I think it's fair. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead This is way too over the top for a Probably. dumb candy stream. Almost definitely, but we're gonna do it anyway. Go ahead and go to our tier list. You can hear us both clearly fantastic. We had to completely rearrange everything to make it happen. <laughs> okay. He moved a microphone Shh. this way five inches. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It was really quite impressive. I've never seen anything like it. Hi, Bon. Thank you. Well, hang on. We'll get to that. <laughs> Give us some time. We gotta hit that point first. Are we? Are we getting? Are we getting input from uh from chat as well? Oh, absolutely. Hell yeah. I mean. They're gonna be wrong, but you know. Only sometimes. Uh, we do. We are on uh, low latency, so we should be able to get. <laughs> but your SS. All right, all right, all right. Let's let's get into this before uh, before, before there are the, riots. The debates have already begun. All right. So we're we're starting off strong. I have no idea what this first one is. Hundred grand is delicious. Okay. Um, it's like a uh, uh, it's like chocolatey, caramely with nuts on the outside. Um, it's not particularly standoutish, but it's quite good. That's like a solid B tier. Solid B tier? Solid B tier. These will not be ordered unless we have extra time and decide that we're going to be anal about it and order all of them. All right. Three Musketeers. Um, I'm not a fan of Three Musketeers. They're not great. They're fine. Like, if somebody handed me one, I'd eat it, but that's pretty much the only instance as, like, when that would happen. Gotcha. The Better Snickers uh, referring to Hunter Grand... In which case, uh, I don't know. I'd, I'd put them. I'd put them pretty close to on par with each other. Unless you're things. referring to Three Musketeers, in which case you're wrong. Yeah, absolutely wrong. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> absolutely uh, wrong. High D, low C. I would agree with that. Okay. I think. All right. Airheads. You like airheads. I love airheads. I do for sure. <laughs> uh, in in uh, to be specific, I like the uh, the the white ones. The the, the like, surprise mystery, mystery flavor. The mystery flavor. I love them. That taste um, like nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, they taste like what you think candy will taste like. Yeah, I think that's fair. Uh, I would probably go with like, low B, high C. I'm willing to compromise and put that in C. I would probably put it in D below. Right. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not big on it. Gotcha. I, I will. I will also accept the C. Next, we have uh, the Airhead Extremes. Do you know what these are? No, I don't. Uh, they made an extreme version of something you don't even know how to describe? Yes, actually. Wow. Um, so. Well, now I must try it. They actually they have these in movie theaters, which is the only reason I know what they taste like. They're kind of like... They don't taste like Airheads. Okay. Um, 
they have that same sort of like generic candy, but like coated in sugar. Oh, so worse. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I definitely have like a. Uh, uh, I kind of like the bite ones. Uh, I don't think they're good. Okay. At all. Okay. I do kind of like them. Um, I would probably put these in like D tier. Okay. I'm I'm willing to be I'm willing to work with that. All right. Worse than Three Musketeers or better than Three Musketeers? Worse. Okay. <laughs> uh, Almond Joys. S tier. So I don't like Almond Joys. <laughs> oh, God, dude. <laughs> um, that said, I don't think they're a bad candy. I don't think no, they're like. No, but here we made. go. We're here. We go. We're gonna have to compromise on this yeah. one for sure. If I was going objectively with how I like how I liked them, not with how good I thought they were, I put them in like D tier. Oh God. That said. Uh, I think, I think, I would, I would compromise with probably, like, objectively, probably, like, an A tier. I'm willing to give it an A tier. Okay. That's fair. I, I, what I really want is I want Almond Joys, but I want them made with dark chocolate. Not to be confused with Mounds, because Mounds are Almond Joys without almonds and dark chocolate. I want both together. Which doesn't happen. It makes me sad. I can't make it darker. What's up, Matt? How you doing? Been a minute. All right, I was gonna try. Oh, I reset the chat. <clears throat> oh, what did you do? You I fucked fool. up. Oh god, no. Uh, you uh, fool. We got Altoids. Okay, are you trying to move it? Is that what you're doing? No, I was trying to see if I can make the uh, the background box darker so people can see oh. it more easily. Well, you why not move it? Can you move it? I mean, I don't know shit about your setup. I should not really. Okay, that's fine. All right, Altoids. Uh, mint is gross. <laughs> Oh yeah, that is that is gonna be an interesting one yes, between us. Yes, there's gonna be a bunch of those, I'm sure. I like mints. Uh, I think they're okay. I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't put them anywhere. Probably above C tier. I mean, <laughs> let's. Can we put it in D tier? I'm willing yeah. to put it above Three Musketeers. All right, we can put it. We can put it in D tier. I'm okay with that. Mint uh, is gross. I don't know what these are. I don't know what those are either. All right. Cool, Perfect. Easy. Moving on. <laughs> if I think... baby bottle pops, baby bottle pops. I've never not, had baby bottle not... pops. <laughs> I haven't either. No. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Great. Put that shit away. <laughs> uh, uh, baby Ruth's. Wait. Okay. Bo, tell us what what Andy's are. Yeah. Because I don't know. Baby bottle pops. So good. Oh no. <laughs> they were they were a staple of the '90s, but I never. Uh, okay. We should also contextualize the fact that we didn't grow up in a ha in a candy household. Yeah. That's that's another thing that we probably should have made clear going most, into this. Pretty much all of our candy for most of our lives came from Halloween. Yeah, and, and anything else was chocolate. Which is fine with us. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. It's chocolate, but milk, chocolate, and mint. All right. I, would, I, would I feel it. I feel like dark chocolate and mint would be better. <laughs> yeah, well. But sure. <laughs> All right, Big Ruth. Uh, Big Ruth is okay. I would probably put it below hundred grand. I'm not a huge fan of them. Um, but it's the slut candy. The Ooh. slut candy. Uh, is that in reference to baby bottle pops? Thank or? you, Nat. Mint is gross. I wish I liked mint. I really do, but like I can put up with my toothpaste in the morning and at night, and that's pretty much it. Like I'm not going out. Gotcha. I just I'm not here for it. <laughs> uh, uh, C tier. We could okay, but can we put it above Airheads? Yes, we can put, this is this isn't ordered yet. This isn't ordered yet. Oh, so we're gonna go in and we're gonna go back in each yes. through each tier. Okay, I can I can live with that. Because I can live with that. partly because at the end we could be like, oh, that's one that we that's don't fine. actually agree with. That's fine. But okay, uh, black licorice is what that appears to be. Um. I've had some black licorice that's okay, and I've had much more black licorice that's gross. Yeah. I, I think the only... I'm chill with gum and toothpaste, but don't like... Yeah, I, I get that. See, I can't even do gum. I think gum is gross, too. <laughs> Weaklings. Uh, black licorice, I, I was gonna say, I've, I've had a couple that I liked as well, but the overwhelming majority I would, has been I, negative. I would put that in F tier, probably. F tier? Uh, you wanna put it in D tier? We can. It would, it would be either low D tier or high F tier, like... I'm okay if, with F tier. There's, there's like, if you get black licorice that's really good, mm -hmm. then it's good. But it has to be really good for it to warrant consumption. That's fair. Whereas, like, if you get red licorice, like, even kind of crappy red licorice is still good. Oh, yeah. It, it's something that you can, like, chew on without, like, thinking yeah. about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, blue Pops. 
Um, C tier? I, uh, I guess. Okay. I'm just not big on like gum generally. Oh that, yeah. That stems from that stems from my distaste of mint. And that's the but... overwhelming majority of a. Uh, yeah. Another slut candy. Damn. Once we get closer to candy corn, it decides if I leave or not. Ooh. Okay, we'll get there. Here, here you You're want. not gonna tell. You yeah, put it? it all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta farm that view time. Uh, bottle caps. Never had them. I love these. Okay, great. Uh, I don't think they're objectively that good, so I'll put them in like. Wow. <laughs> I'll put, I'll put, them in put them next to almond joy. <laughs> uh, shit, dude. I mean, I know you don't like almond joy, but yeah. damn. Okay. So they're these are like. They're kind of like, a dissolve in your mouth sort of like mm. sour generic, okay. candy. Um, I do like sour candy for sure. Yes. Um, yeah, I think, I don't think they're all that, like, amazing, but I like them. Okay. Uh, don't know what these are? Butterfingers. Butterfingers, okay. Uh, it's, eh. Eh? Eh. I'm willing to put Butterfingers in B tier. I'll, I'll compromise that. Once again. They have a Coke flavor of, but wait, so yeah. the bottle caps have, like, branded flavors? I don't know if it, is it an official Coke flavor, though? Or is it, like... Or is or, that or like is a like, limited like time a, thing? Or is it just a soda flavor? Soda flavor, okay. Okay, big quotes. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Uh, do you know what these are? Nope. I also don't know what Perfect. these are. Perfect. Question mark well, for us. Cookie dough bites. Um, I don't remember if I've had these specific mm -hmm. cookie dough candy, but I am big on cookie dough. I am, I am starting to come around on cookie dough. I'm not like the biggest fan but i will i will i will eat them if you put them in front of me okay so b tier i'll give b tier crunch bars uh s, s. cool awesome <laughs> thank god no no <laughs> debate on that shit uh dippin dots not dippin dots not, di not dippin dots um dots that's the one haven't had dots before if i'm being honest they're, they're i'm gonna let you i'm gonna okay. let you call Burn hell dots. Damn, wow. Sorry, <laughs> uh, the generic hospital and uh, barber shop uh, <laughs> lollipops. Uh, gross. 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 The only flavor I like for these is the uh, the root beer one. See, I rem <laughs> the, It's funny that you say that because the only one that I remember is the root beer one, <laughs> and I remember really liking it as a kid. But I think if I had it now, I would hate it. <laughs> D tier. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Ferrero Rocher. Uh, S tier. Yep. <laughs> uh, I also don't know what these are. I wish these were like a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger, oh, yeah. Actually, hang on. I wonder if Can I you zoom? zoom? In. Oh. That makes it a little bit easier. That's a little bit better. Let's do. Whoa. Oh, oh, okay. Whoa. Little too much. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> cup of, uh, chup of cups. Remember Fireball. We can green on candy corn. Okay. Uh, it's... Oh, Atomic Fireball. Oh, I have had these. They're okay. What are they? They're they're like cinnamon candies. Oh, eh, I'm not big on cinnamon candy. If I remember them correctly, I could be, I could be mistaken. Uh, yeah, yeah, mm, yeah. Great. Uh, fun dip. F. Yeah. Actually, burn in hell probably. <laughs> I, mm, I'll put it in F tentatively. Um, I have a soft spot in my heart for fun dip, but it's disgusting. Fun dip is so gross. Uh, Ghirardelli chocolates. Okay, specifically, are those caramel? I. Let me do a quick scan and see yeah. if there are any other ones. Scanning. If we treat it as, like, straight-up Ghirardelli chocolate, then... I, I'm, yeah, I'm not seeing any others. Okay, so, let's, so we're, 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 we're... <laughs> working under the assumption Asterisk. that this is straight Ghirardelli chocolate. Um, solid A-. minus. So I am going to request that we put it in B, because as much as I think that they're great chocolates, they make my stomach hurt. <laughs> I will compromise with that. Okay. Uh, Gobstoppers. Never had them. Uh, uh, they're fine. Okay, great. Uh, goobers! <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate your enthusiasm. You're welcome. See, we're, we're hitting, we're hitting a, a, a stretch. I'm looking at this particular yeah, line. There, there I haven't had lot half of these. of these before. Goobers I've not had. Have you had goobers? I don't think I have. Okay, great. Put it in the question cool. mark, Callum. Uh, I don't know what these are. Bro. Good and plenties? Oh, Bo, were, were those co-op snappers? I thought they were uh, an off-brand. I didn't think they were, like, these ones. Because if so, then I'm actually moving these up to, like, B. We aren't going to gloss over making Fun Dip nose can Look, Fun Dip is just bad sugar 
that you pick up with a stick made, made of, of the sugar. same bad sugar. I don't want to consume that ish. If I want sugar, I'm going to get a spoon. And dip it in the box of sugar. And, and eat some goddamn sugar. And I'm going to be happy. I'm going to do that later. It. Are you? <laughs> no. Fuck no. I was uh, going to be down, but no, it's fine. You know what? Here. Let's go. <laughs> we'll take it with us. Uh, I don't know what these are. Good and plenties. I, yeah, I don't know what those I mean, are. I haven't had them, but I know that they are a brand that exist. They look like I pills. Exist. They totally no, look like medication. Missed... Wait, no. Which... You did what, Bo? They snorted you fun dip. You snorted fun dip? <laughs> Why? Goops are amazing with chocolate-covered peanuts. Eh. <laughs> I mean, I like peanuts and chocolate. I feel, okay. I feel like the salt and chocolate. I'm gonna, well. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a quick sidebar real quick. Go for it. I want to discuss um, th the best part about going to a shitty place like Five Guys is, which is getting and consuming more peanuts than you think is possible, straight out the shells. Like, don't get me wrong, I actually like Five Guys food, but I don't think it's good food it's okay but you bet your sweet ass and half a titty that when i go into that place only half yes okay. i am going to get one of those little brown things of peanuts and just consume <laughs> while we're talking <laughs> casually and just consume them that's right peanuts are delicious except uh for the jiff peanut butter which is currently getting recalled Recall? right yeah. now if you have a uh, jiff peanut butter be aware of that. Please, please take note check, of when you check bought it. Check it, um, because it, yeah, salmonella. It's not good. Oops. Uh, the Haribo gummy bears. Um, I think I've only had these like one time, and they were fine. So I feel like I'll let you make the judgment call on this one. I feel like I don't have a good judgment on these because I feel like whenever I have them, they're the ones that have been like, you get at like a party that have been sitting out for like a week and a half, and like are a little harder than they actually should be. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'll. Make the call, kid. I, I will I will tentatively put them in C tier. Okay. So, like I said before, we, we'll probably go back through at the end and rearrange okay. a bit. Uh, gummy worms. I don't know if this is a specific, specific I, brand. I, or I, I doubt very seriously we're going to see other gummy worms probably on here. Probably not. Um, F tier. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Gross. Okay, this is the one... <laughs> so this is going to be a little this bit is polarizing. This the one that I will die on a hill about. Heath bars are my favorite candies. <laughs> Nobody else in the world besides me, as far as I can tell, likes Heath Bars. And I know that because when I go to Target, they have exactly two things of Heath Bars. They have the, the whole Heath Bars right at the counter, which is always full. And they have the mini Heath Bars in little shareable size bags where they keep all the other candy in the, in the, in the aisles. Mm -hmm. And they never have them. Because when I go there and they do have them, I buy all of them. <laughs> and, then they, and then they can't restock. And then they don't restock, <laughs> because I'm the only fool who buys them. Heath bars are S tier. I will die on this hill. You gotta give me this one. I, I, I will give you this one. Thank you. No. <laughs> uh, Hershey's milk chocolate. Uh, D tier. I'm gonna put him... I, w I would put him in, like... Maybe C tier. C tier. This is, like... I like milk chocolate... They're fine. Okay, but this is important, because I see we've got... Can we actually bring uh, Hershey's Kisses to the front of the line real yes. quick and do this one? So, Hershey's Milk Chocolate yes. is fine. Mm. I think it's better than Hershey's Kisses. I agree. Because Hershey's Kisses are like... Someone who stocks hair seed, we never stock here. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Nobody ever buys them except for me. He's the so only like, one. So, like, once every three months... They'll, the stores will just randomly not have any, and it's they'll like, be like, "That's weird. Can we get some more?" No. Well, it doesn't matter. Nobody buys these anyway. Like every you're gonna <laughs> single time you're gonna go to Target one day and be like, "Which one of you fuckers I bought my Heath bars?" <laughs> I need I need to make this clear. I buy in <laughs> A bulk. Lot. Literally, I think the last time I was at uh, Target, I bought five shareable size bags of Heath bars so I could just have them on hand for, for like months. <laughs> Well. Because they never have them! Anyway, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, Hershey's Kisses are worse than Hershey's Milk Chocolate Bars. Do we put them D tier or just lower? No, I'd put C. them in D tier. And for the record, because I know, Bo, you get these a lot. 
I actually will still like. I, I will never complain if you put Hershey's bar in front of me. I love them. I don't think they're that amazing, objectively. Uh, I, stay, I share your stance on the Hershey's Kisses. Mm. Hi, choose. Um, some of them are good, some of them are not. I will agree with that. C tier. I will also agree with that. Hot tamales. Never had them. Don't care. Awesome. <laughs> I choose our S tier. It, it really depends on. It depends which one. on the because I've had some. I don't have. I haven't had a whole lot of high chews, but I have had some recently, and like the ones that were really good were so good, mm -hmm. and then the ones that weren't were uh, like. like uh, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Mango flavor is top tier. I will agree. Yes, for sure. Uh, for jelly sure. beans. Uh, I'm assuming we're gonna do all encompassing for this. What do you think about jelly beans? <sighs> I think I think the the like special flavor jelly beans are dumb as hell and disgusting. Um, I I'll eat them. I think they're okay. I I would compromise with like a D or like a low C. I'm willing to put them in D, but I'm not going to be happy about it. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, so nope. back to these again. Yeah, we're not. Yeah, okay. So it definitely <laughs> looks like it says Boston <laughs> baked beans. It totally looks like Boston. Baked um, which it's clearly not. So you can see a little bit more, but it's clearly it, it's not. Candy coated peanuts, but like... um, but uh, I haven't had them. Yeah, I don't. I haven't either. So we'll just put them there. Uh, Jolly Ranchers. Hmm. I have a soft spot for Jolly Ranchers. I'd probably put them in like C. I was gonna say B. Because the the difference between Jolly Ranchers and High Chews mm -hmm. is that Jolly Ranchers are consistent. Well, <laughs> the good ones are really good, and the not good ones are still pretty good. Yeah, the not good ones are like okay. Yeah. So I, I, I would I say I would that. say B tier with that. I'm also okay with that. Uh, Juicy Drop Pop. Have you had Never it? had it. Also, one of those like hyper concentrated sugar, Probably but in kind of a like liquid form. Uh, 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 I'll put them in. D tier. Uh, Junior Mints. Mint is gross. I actually don't like these either. Great. Burn in Hell. <laughs> do, we, do, we, do we have our first Burn in Hell? Do we have our first Burn I'm, in Hell? I'm, I'm good with it. I would lose. The world would be exactly the same <laughs> if these candies did not exist for me. That's fair. Uh, Cadbury Cream Eggs. Uh, I haven't had those. I think I've had them like once and I think I got sick after. <laughs> uh, not, like, not like throw up, but like felt very ill. Okay, so F tier? Uh, I'm okay with F tier. Uh, Kit Kats. S tier. Yep. Krabby Patties. <laughs> uh, burn in Hell. I, I kind of like the. Oh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> only only a little okay, bit. Okay. Uh, Crackle. Uh, I would put these in S tier as well. I'd probably give that an A tier. I'm, I'm okay with an A tier. It's crunch, it but not as good. The, it's, it's, it's literally the inferior crunch. Yeah. The world would be better without Junior Mints. Cool. I'm glad the we're in agreement here. The world would be like... such a better place no. without all of these Junior Shot. Mints. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Laffy Taffy. Gross. So... <laughs> <laughs> Immediately, you're like, hang on. Wait, no, 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 Hold no. on. Me out. Um, we'll get there in a second. The only Laffy Taffy I like is the banana Laffy Taffy. Mm -hmm. uh, all of the other ones I'm not a huge fan of. I will still eat like the strawberry ones, but I really like the banana ones. Okay. So... C tier? I'm okay with that. Lemonheads. Haven't had lemonheads. I'm not a huge fan of them. Great. They're, they're they're pretty much warheads. And, like, they're intent. Okay. Uh, eh, eh. Uh, lifesavers. Uh, I haven't had lifesavers in a... probably 15 years. Okay. <laughs> um, but I don't remember liking them that much. They, they kind of... Okay, you know what they felt like? They felt like the 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 bottom of the Halloween bag that you didn't want to trade away. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. D tier. <laughs> sure. Okay. Uh, Lifesaver gummies. I've never had those variants. I don't of think life I have Great. Uh, Lindor. Okay. So this is where things get weird because for me, these vary greatly. I would put them between a Ghirardelli chocolate. And a Hershey's milk chocolate. I think I agree with that. Somewhere in between that. These also kind of make me feel sick. So I feel like I just like can't process rich chocolate because okay. Ghirardelli and Lindor's both make me feel ill. All right. If you say anything other than, uh, <laughs> wow, dude, oh, gosh. my auto mind dude. actually just called you out, Bo. Wow. I, I have no issues with that. Um, but, but 
For if you say anything, are you are you referring to they're referring to Lindors. the Lindors? Nah, I'd put them. I'd put them in C tier. I, I I might put them in B tier, but since they make you sick, I'd put them in C tier. I will I will compromise in B because I actually I think that they're good chocolates. I know they're high quality. I would rather but... eat them over a Hershey's milk chocolate. That's fair. But I wouldn't rather have them over a Ghirardelli chocolate. Sorry, Bo. I'll uh, I'll, I'll I'll go peacefully. Uh, I don't know what this is. Mama never had it. Cool. Uh, Mike and Ike's. I know you like Mike and Ike's. I love Mike okay, and Ike's. Put Mike and Ike's where is best for you. Let me actually check something real quick. Okay, so they don't have the Mike and Ike sours, which I actually love a lot more. Um, I think I'll put regulars in like. I'll put them in C. Okay. Because I don't think they're better than Lindor's. <laughs> like I know I don't like them, but I don't think they're better. Yeah. Mamas are Starburst and Haichi. Ooh. Oh, I would try those. I would absolutely try those. I would try those. Milk duds. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Probably like high D tier. Because, oh, like, I'm, I, I, I would rather eat them over jelly beans or Altoids, but I'm not, not over Three Musketeers. I'm not a fan of the texture of them. Yeah, that's fair. They're, they're kind of strange. Um, Milky Way. C tier. C tier? I am okay with that. I'm not a huge fan of them, but Emily got me this. I know it was so. I It was at least eight boxes. Really? Yeah. Like, uh, the, like the theater size? Yeah, exactly. It was a lot of uh, M&M's. Regular old m Okay, M&M. so, first of all, can you scroll down to see if there are any other M&M variants on here other than those two? It does not appear. Okay, that. we're gonna have, we're gonna have, uh, uh an in-depth... That's fair now. We're gonna have an in-depth conversation about m and Okay, let's go for it. So, there are, uh, four core m M&M and variants. <laughs> okay. Regular m ms Yes. Peanut m ms Yes. Peanut butter m ms Yes. And m M&M. M&M minis. Yes. Mini M Ms? Yes. Okay. Um, I like all of them. Okay. All of them for different reasons. Fair. And there are absolutely better ones than others. Absolutely. So, regular M Ms are middle of the goddamn road when I it agree. when it comes to M Ms. I would still put them in like B tier. I might go A tier. I, I I would be okay with A tier. I love M and M's. I also love M and M's. Um, but when you compare them to their to their contemporaries, I thought you were going to talk about the characters. Oh, we can do that too. Um, <laughs> that's a diff- that's a different tier list. That's a different tier list. Uh, <laughs> the when you compare them to their contemporaries, they are like the most generic. Um, Michael, focus. Come on, sorry, dude. Sorry. <laughs> Keep your horny to yourself. Um, peanut M and M's are the best M and M's. I in my I, opinion. I think I will agree with that. I would put uh, peanut M&M's at the top of A tier, if not in S tier. I will I will absolutely, I will agree with the top of A tier for sure. Um, they have the best texture to flavor ratio, um, and I, I tend to agree with chat. Peanuts are just god tier. Like, <laughs> which, which one? They're uh, just good. Brown M&M or the green? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, mini M&M's are between... Peanut M and M's and regular M and M's. So okay. Contextually. Yeah, I was gonna say because they don't they don't taste like M and M's. No, they don't. I like them. They taste close to M and M's. Yeah, they take they taste close enough for sure. But the ratio is wildly different. And then I think that the peanut M and M, the peanut butter M and M's are good. I just I'm not a huge fan of peanut butter. We, they're the weakest for sure. Yeah, they're fine though. But even so, I would probably put them in like C tier. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say probably either C or B. They're they're decent still. Good bars. Uh, probably A tier for me. That's my, like, preferred... Like, Crackle and Good Bars are the two milk chocolates that I reach for. I would go, I would go A or B as well, but I, I'll put it in A. Uh, I don't know It's what... some chalky candy, burn in hell. Yep, okay. Uh, nerds! <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm okay with that. It was so eager. <laughs> do, do you know oh, what that is? Oh, God. Uh, what, nerds? No, this. Oh, no, but it's some chalky candy. I'll, I'll put it in this, even though I will probably agree with God, you. God, okay. Uh, nerds. Um, they're fine. Yeah, they're... I, I, I would never reach for them. That's fair. Like, ever. They're, they're that super, like, once again, super hyper-concentrated sugar. Yeah. Um, but, like, I, I agree with that. I don't think Pop Rocks are on here, which is kind of upsetting. Um, I know, but yeah, no, take, no, Nat, you're absolutely right. Pouring the whole container in your mouth. That's the only way to eat them. Unless you get one of those really big containers, in which case, I good luck. I know, yeah, no, you do it anyway. <laughs> they take the edge off, like, the aquarium gravel, you know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
Fuck you. <laughs> See here? Stop being funny. It's, it's not my joke. I can't claim um, credit for that one. I would probably put them in D, but if you want to put them in C, I'm willing to do that. I, I'll, I'll do high D tier. Okay. Uh, nerd ropes. Haven't had nerd ropes. I, I imagine they're like nerds, but in a different form factor. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Okay. Uh, those are not starbursts. Nope. I don't know what those are. They look like starbursts. Do they have starbursts on this list? Yes, they are right here. Awesome. I have no idea what that is, so we're gonna go here. I'm a little ashamed of how many of these we don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. Oh, wait, why did I put this here? Where did we want that? That was the lifesaver gummies. I had I haven't had the gummy variant. Uh, they're they're fine. I probably put them around where I put the other ones, which I don't remember where they are. Right there, you ah, are on them. Right, you are. <laughs> Don't do this well. They're fine. Um, I'm assuming these are like orange sugar candy things, but yeah, I don't know no, what they are. Uh, I okay. Payday. Um, I enjoy money. S tier. <laughs> S tier. Uh, have you had one? Uh, I have, but I don't remember anything about it. Uh, I'll put it here. Uh, peeps, burn in hell. Yeah, burn in hell. Thank you. <laughs> Thank They're you. They're disgusting. I hate God, them. peeps are so gross. Pez. Uh, burn. Do you like Pez? I don't like Pez. F tier. Nah, I'm okay with burn in hell, actually. No. Okay, no, no, no. Put it in F tier. Oh, yeah, no, Just okay. because the the novelty yes. of I, the, Pez the candy yes. oh, makes it at rocks. least some worthwhile. Uh, Pixie Sticks. Burn in Hell. Yeah. yeah. It's it's funded, but, you know, <laughs> but without the dip. Paper, but, okay, okay. But the problem is not even that it's the fun dip. <laughs> it's that it's in a fucking paper tube, so if you put it in your mouth, it just, like, closes itself and you can't have any more. Hey, okay. It's the worst. Okay, but, <laughs> hey, environmental conscious. I don't, it's not, like, good paper, Oh, though. okay. Well, in that case, I... It's not ethically sourced it's, paper, <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> it's blood diamond paper, you fool. Pixie sticks are weird, you gay, so S tier. <laughs> uh, Pop Rocks. Um, I'm assuming we're, we're gonna ignore that it's strawberry, and we're just going to assume that it's Pop Rocks. I, I think the novelty of it is neat, but I don't remember... I waffles! Uh, I don't remember anything about them other than the novelty of it, so probably, like, you make that call. They're fine. I, th I think their, their main selling point is definitely the the, the popping, okay. as opposed to uh, the candy itself. But uh, push pops. It's, it's it's see it's that same like okay that's fine. <laughs> it's the same it's the same like everything that's like really intense fake fruit flavor. Yeah. That isn't like it's, it's Starburst. It's an inferior Jolly Rancher. There you go. Yeah. And also bigger, so they're harder to eat. Uh, well, what are those, the fucking Jolly Ranchers that they have that are, like, wrapped up and they're in, like, tiny bar form instead of the, like, uh, hexagonal-ish candy? Do you know, know what I'm those. talking about? They're, they're, like, okay, so literally think of, like, an airhead form factor, but Jolly Rancher. Interesting. It's, no, it's not. It's bad. Oh, whoever, okay. Whoever thought it was a good idea. I guess, I guess that doesn't really make sense, does it? Well, it doesn't fit. Like, yeah. you, you, because you can't, like, suck on it normally, because there's not, like, enough of it to hold, but it's also too large to fit in your mouth comfortably, because when you have a Jolly Rancher, you can still function as a human. Right, right. right. It's like, it's like, you know, a piece of gum size, so you can, like, right, exactly. move it around You could put it under you your tongue and have a full conversation and be, be completely tied. Yeah. But you can't do that with the... Re it's so dumb. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. You're fine. I didn't mean to go on a tangent. It's okay. Uh, raisinets? <laughs> um, I like raisins, and these are raisins covered in chocolate. I would say a solid B tier. I haven't had them. Have you had them? Uh, have I ha I'm not sure if I've had these specifically, but I've okay. had raisins covered in chocolate. They're delicious. We're going to just, like, assume... Great. Perfect. <laughs> uh, red vines. Burn in hell. They're just Twizzlers, but, but not bad. as good. Yeah. But, like, there's I'll still... Like, no, I have you know. a fundamental fight against red vines. Bo's gonna kill me. Red vines are gross. We are a Twizzlers family here. This is true, but... <laughs> I, I will I will keep red vines red vines are so much chalkier than Twizzlers are yeah like they've got a weird powdery like texture to them that re that Twizzlers don't have and I'm not saying that Twizzlers are like an amazing candy but Raisinets B tier is an old person I'm dude I'm like a 50 year old and a 25 year old body. <laughs> Twizzlers taste so fake okay sure but we're comparing both of if we compare either of them to real licorice. They're both, like, the fakest thing you've ever consumed. 
I anyway. think Twizzlers are better. <laughs> I, I agree, actually. I'm sorry. Uh, those appear to just be regular Reese's. S tier. Uh, I am going to be rude and put them in A tier. Because I'm not actually a huge fan of peanut butter in general. Okay. But I will agree that they're, like, solid. I will, I will, I will be okay with that. Ring Pops. Oh, God, no. Gross. F tier. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what Rolos are. Um, they're, like, gen they're generic chocolate candy. I don't know. I, it's been a while since I've had Rolos, but <laughs> Michael has no taste. I'm well. Just gonna, just, <laughs> just gonna, just gonna. No, be nice. Be nice. Fine, I won't ban them. Be nice. My That's not where, oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, it's, oh. What is, oh, it's very confused. Okay. Okay. Well, we're not going <laughs> to, we're not going to do that. Uh, eh? Yeah, I'd put him in the question mark, just because okay. I don't, I don't want to, like, make definitive statements about shit I've ne I haven't had in whatever. Speaking of which, months? Never had them. Cool. Great. Skittles. I, controversial statement, never been big on the Skittle game. Not big on them. Yeah. I, I like them. He's never nice to me. Okay. Sure. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> uh, I like him enough. I don't think... I'll, I'll, I'll let you make the judgment call on Skittles. I'll put him, like, high C. Okay. Low, low B, maybe. No, high C is a high C is a, is a drink. All right. Drink tier list. High C. F tier. <laughs> uh, we, we couldn't do a soda tier list. No, we couldn't. Because I don't drink soda, and you barely drink soda. Yeah, I drink, I drink lots of specific soda. Yeah, you drink a lot of three sodas. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Snickers are only good. Uh, Skittles are only good for the gay. Uh, only bad. <sighs> <We're>, <laughs> are, moving on. Are you okay? Uh, Snickers, S tier. Mm, mm, a tier. If you get to put Reese's Cups right, in, right, in right, A tier. Right, right. I mean, you haven't claimed I made you put Heath Bars in S tier, so you can make your one judgment call. I will, I will reserve my judgment, but that will probably be my my okay. uh, my override. Uh, I don't know what these are. Snow caps? Yeah. Haven't had them. Okay. Uh, sour Punch, as opposed to Sour I Patch. I imagine that's the same thing-ish as Sour Patch Kids, neither of which I've uh, really experienced before. Okay, I'm gonna put that in there. Snow caps are weird. Yeah. Do they have mint? They sound like a candy that would have mint. They definitely sound like a candy that would have mint. Mm. Speaking of not knowing the next one, what the fuck is this? I don't know. I wish. Oh, they don't have mint, Jamie. Okay, all right. I, like I said, I haven't had them. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what this are. These are. Uh, they look like um shampoo bottles. They kind of do. Like this green one. These honestly, that looks. Do you remember? A tier. <laughs> do you remember? When we were uh, kids, at least when I was a kid, and I had that like hair dye that was in like the dark green plastic bottle. No. Okay, it looks almost exactly like that, but a slightly shade darker. I had, may, I, may I share, can I tangent a moment and share a weird nostalgia okay, cool. uh, thing? I've, okay, so um, I don't know, Bo, if you experienced this, but um, when when I was young, um, I played a lot of the Jumpstart computer games. Um, I don't know oh, yeah. how many of those... I, I'm, I'm familiar. I'm sure you picked up some of them from when I played them. I played, um, I played some of them at Grandma's. Yeah. Um, but I had a weird memory yesterday come through at, like, you know, 1.30 in the morning when... When most thoughts come through. Right. Um, when I remembered that one of them that I played, I had, like, a workbook for it. Um, I don't remember which one it was. What, what do you mean by workbook? It was literally like, so it must have been like the, the, one of the grade school, like middle mm -hmm. or higher grade school ones. Um, because it was literally, it was like a workbook that had like math problems. Oh, and, like, like yeah. associated with the game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Um, and I remember that, uh, there was, I, I, I was so proud because I went through and I did the whole thing and at the back of the book there was... A, a, a thing with the Brandon on it that it was like a certificate that said yeah I made it through the game and the book and it was this whole Aww. thing and it was such a wonderful thing and I couldn't immediately find it yesterday when I googled it and I was kind of upset about it yeah so I have to do some research on that see if you can find it somewhere yeah I don't know that'd be nice Sour Patch Kids I like yeah whatever <laughs> Sour Patch Kids uh eh. I, I don't remember having them any time in the last decade they're okay okay Spree! They, they kind of, they kind of. Okay, sprees are actually not that bad. I don't know what spree is. They're not. I think I, if I remember correctly, please chat. Correct me if I'm wrong. They're kind of like, like hard candies. Um, 
Okay. It's similar vein as like in like go- Gobstoppers, but not, okay. not quite. Um, am I, we've had them at your house, right, Bo? They're more like Gobstoppers than uh, than like bottle caps, right? No, they're chewy. Okay. Oh yes, I okay. Uh, I'll put them. I'll put them like high C tier. They're fine. Okay. Starburst. Um. Probably like the only A tier fruit candy for me. Maybe B. I'm not sure I like them more than Jolly Ranchers. Yeah, because have you have you noticed how we stopped being like we've we've started comparing them to what's in the tier mm-hmm. as opposed to just ranking mm-hmm. them? A tier, I'm. <sighs> now put it in B. Put it in B. I, I'll put it in high B. Uh. I'm not sure I like Starburst more. Well, okay, Starburst again, terrible. It's another. It's another one of those that like. It's another one of those that like. It depends which one you're eating. This is also true. But again, I don't dislike any of them. Yeah. And I like, I like, I like, everybody likes the red ones. I like the pink ones. Pink ones is the best. I like the pink ones, and I like the yellow ones. Yeah. And I feel like uh, the, the... The orange the, ones are the best. The ones. orange and the yellow ones are the ones that people don't talk about. I mean, I like the orange one, too. It's just not as good as the pink one. I agree, though. I, I actually think the red one is, like, the worst one for me, personally. I can say that, though. Like, it's... Whatever. It's the it like it leans a little heavy into the fake fruit flavor. Yeah. But you know. I'm, I'm, yeah, it's yeah around yeah. there. Pink or goaded? Thank you. Thank Pink you. And yellow, I yes. agree. Uh, strawberry candy. They're a specific type of strawberry candy mm-hmm. though, um, and I know I've had them. I just can't remember anything about them. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember too much about them either. But. Do we put them in here? We can. Okay. Uh, I have no shame about the fact that we haven't had a bazillion candy in our life. It means we're gonna live to be 150. Please fuck no. No, I'm gonna <laughs> die at like 35, but that's okay. Yeah, the grandma candy. Well, we Speaking have of which, no, 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 no. Bring, cool. bring up Werther's. Bring All up right. Werther's. Werther's original is delicious. A tier. A tier. I'm, I'm okay with that. It's straight up. Yeah, they're delicious. Like, I gotta love them. They are so good, dude. <laughs> um, so, Butter, just like butterscotch candy in general. Yeah, they're like, like well, and it, they're, kind of, they're kind of deceptive because like you get them and you're like, that's not exciting. And then you eat one and you're like, that's not that good. And then you leave it in your mouth and you're like, oh. <laughs> Choose your words about Swedish food. Okay, we'll get there. Uh, here. <laughs> <laughs> All the people want to hear. It's like, goddamn it, wait. Put Twizzlers uh, near the bottom. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, I wanted that one. Uh, sugar babies? Haven't had them. No clue. Uh, sweet tarts? Not big on them. Uh, I honestly, honestly, bottle caps are pretty similar to sweet tarts. Okay. Um, Same tier? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, I kind of might I'm gonna move bottle caps down. Okay. They're good, but uh, I also don't know what these take fives are. Uh, I have not had take fives, but one of them is Reese's, which means it can't be that bad D tier. <laughs> We're not. No. <laughs> like we I'm have like, rules. Like, like how I'm like I'm not gonna make definitive statements about things I haven't had. Uh, Toblerone. A tier. I would probably say B tier personally. But I would also not complain about each tier. I would complain about okay. B tier. We'll put them in each tier. Uh, Tootsie Rolls. Better, Tootsie Roll Pops. Better sorry. than most uh, lollipops. Still probably a D tier for me. I, th- I think I'll agree with that. Take five are really weird. Interesting. I, I, so what are they? Uh, speaking of which, Tootsie Rolls. Well, they have to be below Tootsie Pops. Yeah, which means that they're either same tier or F tier. It's like Reese's with pretzels. What? I would try it. I would try peanut that. peanut butter pretzels are I good, would try that. But also, that's a, that does sound like a uh, lot. B- 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 Bo has a like, no. very different reaction. <laughs> okay, I think we put Tootsie Rolls at the top of F tier. Top of F tier. I'm okay with that. Because, yeah. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, these... Those are the chew candies. No, 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 no. Those are the fruity Tootsie Rolls. Are they actually? Yes. Never had them. I'm gonna put them in F tier for now. Okay. Uh, I don't know what these trolleys are. Uh, they're they're like sour gummy worms. Hmm. So wherever you put gummy worms, put them above. Not that I've had trolleys specifically, but sour gummy worms are better than. Twizzlers. (laughs) 
B tier. I don't give a fuck. Were you going to put him in A tier? Not I was I was mostly waiting to see what you said. Nah, B tier. I'm okay with that. Pretzels are gross. What? Bro, okay. Well, first of all, I don't think like you can say pretzels are gross because pretzels are like that's like saying bread is gross. That's kind like, of yeah, it's kind of pretzels, it is pretzels kind of are wide, such a but... wide reaching like th like even the two core types where it's like hard pretzels There's and soft, soft pretzels, pretzels. There's there are so much variety. Vastly yeah. different. And then, like, when you bring in toppings into account, like butter or salt or chocolate or, chocolate or, or peanut butter. Yeah, like, it's completely, completely wild. I really read that as three types of people right and wrong. Like, wait a minute. Uh, uh, Twix. It's, they're fine. They're, they, okay? they just want to get in. Okay. Um, I, I would lean towards A tier. Probably bottom of A tier. I have actually completely come around on Twix. They're good. I used to hate them. They're good. And then I realized that they're just, like, a slightly worse Snickers. I'm not sure I agree with that analogy, but okay, I can, I can, I can, I can live with that, I suppose. Uh, extreme sour warheads. Uh, haven't had warheads. No. Nope. Uh, they're not particularly good. It's an interesting experience. Yeah, I understand that. It's like the gimmick of it is that it kind of hurts. Yeah. Um. I'll put them in. I'll put them in. Okay. Uh, I don't know what this. What should we call it? Yeah. Never had it. Cool. <laughs> uh, whoppers. Uh, I would put it in about the same place as Milk Duds. Where, uh, D tier, yeah. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, I'm not a huge fan. I'm not sure I would go so far as to put them in F tier, but uh, the York Patty things. Uh, gross. Mint. Cool. <laughs> I, I hate them. Really? Yeah, I do, I do not like them. Wow, Connor's never gonna speak to me again. That's fine. Uh, I also don't know what the zero is. Yeah, I've never had is. zero. Alright, so okay. now we have the two controversial yeah. <laughs> Here's my hot take on Swedish fish. On Swedish fish, okay, go for it. I've never had Swedish fish. Yeah? No. Never had them. Can I confess? Have you never had Swedish fish it's either? It's been like eight years since I've had <laughs> Swedish fish. Um, I don't dislike them. Great. Um, you make that call then, brother. I would put them in like, in. I'm sorry? You like them in soda? Never had them either, multi, interesting. I'll put them in like C tier. They're fine. Okay, I can live with that. Soak it. You soak them in Sprite. Interesting. Whoa. Here, waffles. Waffles. I will tell you what. I will go to Five Below tomorrow morning, afternoon, after work, and I will try them. He's back Shut up. That <laughs> shit, real quick. I will try them again because it has been a long time. Uh, he will make a follow-up tweet. I will. I will make a follow. -up I do follow. Hey, uh, speaking of which, follow my tweet. Uh, follow, follow, my my, follow my tweet. <laughs> follow my, my tweeter is what I was going to say. But, uh, <laughs> I'm not actually going to do self-plug, even though it's just the same thing as my <laughs> username. Uh, so, candy corn. First and foremost, we have to address the random variety candy corns are garbage. Like, the ones that are, like, fun shapes or whatever are bad. Okay. Go for it. Candy corn is gross, mm -hmm. and I can't stop eating it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's... Like, I don't choose to start eating it, but what? if I, like, you, end like, up... You, like, accidentally eat one, <laughs> and you're like... <laughs> if somebody, like, throws it across the room, <laughs> yeah, and I happen to open my mouth <laughs> at the same time, then I'll go back for seconds. Interesting. I'm... <sighs> it's one of those candies that, like... I'm kind of in the same place. Like, I would never seek it out. Um, but, like, I'll... I guess. Like, I'll eat it. Like, it's fine. Okay, not, so let's... Good, let's, like... let's, 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 let's think about this a second. Okay. Would you eat it over a Tootsie Roll? Fuck no. Okay. <laughs> Fuck no. F tier. <laughs> okay, I'm okay with that. I will, I will not say burn in hell, but I will absolutely agree with F tier. And just like that... Okay. Are we going back through? We're absolutely going back okay. through and reordering. Okay. Uh, first and foremost, before we do anything else, I'm using my power of privilege. I respect <laughs> that choice. Okay. Um, I will allow Heath Bars to be bottom of S tier because okay. I know you're not big on them. Yes. I think Crunch is perfectly good where it is. I actually will agree with that. Um, and on actually, honestly, I'm okay with this as it looks. <laughs> I am as well. Uh, for the S tier. Only, the only thing I would personally switch would be this. You like Snickers more than Kit Kats? I, I kind of love Snickers. Bro. 
What? You're not you and you're hungry, James. God damn. <laughs> I'm not. All right. Okay. I, I will accept this, though. Yeah. I, 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 I like, Heath bars are 100% better than Snickers, but I will, I will <laughs> allow them to be better. Okay. 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 So S tier assorted. Yes. A tier. This is going to be some heated this, shit. This, this was, yeah, <laughs> this is the stuff. I feel like we're going to be in agreement for most of F tier and yeah. D tier. C tier is going to have some weird ones. B tier is going to have some weird ones. All right. A tier is going to be, uh... A spicy one. <laughs> okay, so here's what here's what you will do. Okay. I, sh I shall remain around as you are people of culture. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Matt. I appreciate that. Um, you tell me what you think should be at the top of A tier, and then I'll counter from there. The top of A tier? Yes. Which of those candies would you rather eat most on any given day? Probably Crackle. I would accept Crackle as number two. I am okay with Crackle as number two. What would you put as number one? Well, I might otherwise say Almond Joy, but I know you won't allow that to happen. Correct. <laughs> so I will instead posit, let's pick between either Reese's or M&M's. Regular M&M's? No, the peanuts. peanut M&M's. I will go with peanuts. Okay, peanut M&M's number one. Yes. Crackle number two. Yes. Drink water, I got you. Jamie, you're part of this now. Stay hydrated, fools. Uh, okay. So next up we have these six. So, so this is, yeah. Mm. This is gonna get interesting. Because you're gonna like the things that I don't here, want. Here, So what do you, okay, go ahead. Here's what I'm gonna do. Okay. I'm gonna hit my microphone. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to organize, A, how I would put it. Okay. And pass, I will. Pass this, and we will go from I will. There. I will adjust as necessary. Yes. Okay, go ahead. I think. <sighs> oh. I will also take into consideration your feelings, but I will put this as... That's probably how I put it. Okay. I will make two adjustments. Go for it. I want to put Toblerone above Werther's. Okay. I want to put Reese's Cups at number four. At number four? Mmm... Hmm. Interesting. Because Reese's for me would be either number one or number two. I'm okay with that actually. If if they're if they would be that high for you, they would not be bottom for me. Also, so I, will, I, will, uh, I, will, I will accept. That. Also, S tier candy that is not on this list: Reese's Pieces. I love Reese's. I I ate so <laughs> when I was in college. They had vending machines in the dorms. And I swear, a third of the meal money that I spent was on Reese's fucking pieces. <laughs> I actually OD'd a little bit on them, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Okay. So we in agreement about A tier? Yes. Okay. B tier? Jolly Rancher at the top. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I want... I still want Ghirardelli above Lindor. Honestly, I don't pieces, feel... Okay, pieces are not better than normal Reese's, they're just different... I think they're a little more consumable. Like, because when you have Reese's Cups, like, they're very rich. They're very, yes. And when you have Reese's Pieces, they're not. You can sit there and eat a whole box of Reese's Pieces and not want to die. But if you have, like, ten Reese's Cups, you're going to hate yourself. They're just different. Anyway, Jolly Rancher is the top. Uh, I... I don't... I don't, I don't have any feeling about this at all. I'm willing to leave 100 grand in the middle. Okay. Uh, I think, uh, Gobstoppers, I, I don't have hard feelings about that, but I would probably lean towards near the end, and probably agree. Cookie Dough Bites 2. I'm okay with that. Just because, like, again, that brand specifically, I'm not sure. Yeah. But Cookie Dough Bites, like, we're, we're, Cookie we're Dough generally. There, You have not lived life until <laughs> you've made a chocolate chip Cookie Dough Jeez. milkshake, blended it up, drank it, and then realized that half of the cookie dough is still at the bottom. It's like a dessert after the dessert. It's the best thing in the world. Waffles, did you eat ten Reese's Cups? Because that's a lot of Reese's Cups. I have to be really careful you not should, to yell at you my should, mic. You should hate yourself? Is that what that says? Yeah, that, that's <laughs> exactly what that says. Uh, 
I, the other one that I don't really feel strongly about is the Butterfingers. I'm not a huge fan of them. Okay, so I'd like to posit we move Ghirardelli above Starburst. I know you're not okay big on them. Um, but the rest of that I'm pretty okay with, honestly. Yeah, the only one I would personally... No, actually. Yeah. I'm pretty good with that. Okay, uh, C tier. First off, we gotta weird, weed out the weird ones that we're keeping closer to the bottom. Yeah. Uh, raisinets. Swedish fish is fine there for me. I'm also okay with roughly the or these two staying close sure. to the bottom. Um. I would posit that we move. Uh, Hershey's, Baby Ruth. We will further adjust them momentarily. Yeah, and uh, Milky Way, up. Um. <laughs> well, given it's... No, I'd rather eat a Milky Way over a Hershey's bar. The problem is that I'm, I'm not a huge fan okay, of that. Okay, that's fine. We can leave We can leave Hershey's bar there. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think if I... I'm, trying to, I'm like looking at these, and I'm like, I don't really feel that strongly about all these. I'm going to move dots down. Okay. I feel... Uh, I would probably move Haichu up a little bit. Do you like Haichu more than Airheads? As a whole, yes. Okay. If it's specifically the mystery airheads, no. Okay. <laughs> but uh, I feel like I feel like this has more that I would go for mm -hmm. than this. Uh, definitely keeping Mike and Ike's there because mm -hmm. yeah, I love Mike and Ike's. Um, again, I'm so sad that they don't have the Mike and Ike sours because oh, I love those. Uh, regular Skittles. I, are we okay with that? I'm I'm not a Skittles man, but sure. Okay. If you would you rather eat Skittles over Mike and Ike? Okay. <laughs> That's an important distinction yes, for you to make there. Yes, it is. Um... Butterfingers deserve a spot just for slogan. Okay, but that's like saying Taco Bell deserves a spot at the top. We can do fast food chains next, James. Can we? <laughs> we? We can. Do you want to? We totally can. Awesome. Okay. Um, yeah, no, that's like saying Taco Bell is like top of fast food tier list because Dom. the fucking slogans that they've made have lasted 40 years even though it's the most disgusting <laughs> fast food place you can go to i've never been to taco bell so i can't say anything do not <laughs> okay don't do it uh back on track sorry yeah you're fine uh do you have any particular no honestly any no okay i might i might uh no not really okay um i'm right, moving to d tier and we're going to make a couple slight adjustments real quick. Okay. Fast food needs a spot for pothead food. That's Waffle House. That's, yeah, that's literally true. just Waffle House. That's true. I guess, actually, no, I guess Waffle House is for stronger drugs as well. <laughs> and now it's got to, well, Okay, Never, we'll get to this, guys. Yeah, yeah, we'll get there in a second. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, D tier. All right. We got to scan through real quick. Uh... Oh, I don't really feel strongly about most of these either. <laughs> I, I I definitely have a little bit more. Uh, yeah, closer up. I might rather eat a Three Musketeers over a Kisses. Okay, yeah, it's kind of. Waffle House isn't fast food, but that's that's. Okay, that's the place. We can uh, one thing at a time. <laughs> Let's finish this, and then we can move on. Um, I feel like we should move up Tootsie Roll Pops. Move up Tootsie Roll Pops. Okay, I'm okay with that. Here, we'll, we'll put it up here for now, and then we'll just, like, keep moving from there. Do you want it over nerds? Depends on the nerds. I guess not, though. Okay. Milk Duds, I'm okay with yeah. being there. I would put Whoppers right below Milk Duds, because for me, they fulfill basically the same thing, even though they're not the same candy. Yeah. It's the same, like... That's fair. It, it scratches the same itch. Okay. I can live with that. I feel like Pop Rock should be a little higher just yeah, because of the novelty. Because, like, it, it, it's fun. And they don't taste, like, bad by any means. They're just, like... Also, I don't want... I don't want Jelly Beans to be the last one. That could... <laughs> uh... Yeah, the rest of that I'm fine with. I would move this down a tiny bit. Here. First and foremost. Flip those two. Uh, I'm okay with that. Cool. Cool. Uh, F tier. I am willing to move... Mint, Hell, and Peeps, and Hell, it would mint... 
if we're not talking about that. They would also be in hell. They, they would, would just, just be like, we would make they, a new one. They would just have two train tickets to hell. <laughs> extra hell. <laughs> Double hell. And uh, would you would you like extra hell with that? Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm I'm willing I'm willing to put red vines near the top just for bow. Right, I'm okay but I am not that. willing to put them over titsy rolls. Thank That's you. Also fair. Um, I want fun dip at the bottom. <laughs> That's the only one I'm. Okay, no, that I, that I that I will agree with. That I will agree with. Uh, <laughs> you're welcome, Bo. Uh, ring pops are they're not good, but like they're fun. I have purchased ring pops in the last five years. Yeah. Yes, I proposed to people at work with. That's them. right. I forgot <laughs> that. Actually, that's amazing. And um, then both of them threw them away. I'm like I was fucking nothing. believable. And now neither of them work there anymore. It was Taylor and Marina? No, it no. no. Not Marina. It um, was Angie, and Mariah. Mariah, not Marina. Yeah. Words anyway, um, <laughs> uh. Krabby Patty sliders need to go down. Why is moving them up? <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll find them above fun dip. I'm okay with that. Uh, 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 I, I don't actually know much about these two. The fireballs are not great, but whatever. I'll put them like I'll put them here. Okay, no, I can live with that. Okay, that's good. Uh, now we have to figure out which is our least favorite of these. Uh, peeps. peeps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we're in agreement, at least. Uh, peeps, Pixie Sticks, Junior Mints, York Peppermint Patties. Oh, okay, in, the, in, in ascending the, order. Yeah. Uh, these we don't need to order. So that's, that's it, y'all. That's the, uh, that's the official... Yeah, okay. And, and, and Crunch is in its rightful place. God, Crunch is such a good candy it, bar. It kinda is. Crunch is such a good candy bar, dude. Really good. Oh, there's another one. Uh, real quick, just real quick. Go for it. Um, the merit of bunch of crunch over regular crunch. What are your thoughts? It depends. It depends. I feel like I feel like bunch of crunch is better when it's with other things, like popcorn. The peep slander is insane, bro. Peeps are disgusting. They are. They are not good. The like, pills like... and pen dispensers. Okay, but that's again. That's kind of the point. That's that's why. They're that's not, why. Yeah. Like, that's super why. Yeah. Exactly. Because like pe candies themselves are I, disgusting. I don't think anybody's like yeah Pez candy. Like nobody's like that. They're like ooh uh, Pez dispenser. They're like Jasmine from Aladdin. <laughs> you know. You break their neck off. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> God. Uh... No. Okay. So so with with things, bunch of crunch is better. Yes. By, it, by as, itself, as bunch itself, is... candy. Bunch of or I'm, I'm willing to accept that opinion. I'm okay. not sure I subscribe to it, but I'm willing to accept it. I w honestly like if you put crunch of pretty much any variety That's in true. front of me, I'll be yeah. like, thank you. No, but like if I'm if I'm if I'm going to the movies, even if I'm not getting popcorn, oh, I'm gonna get bunch of crunch. Oh, okay, that's interesting actually, because I never really I didn't really put it by itself in that scenario. Again, this is a generalized list, but that's not on it, so the rules are out the window. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I'd probably still lean slightly towards crunch bars. I'm Bo, you're like that in that you get a bunch of crunch at the movies? No, they don't go to the movies, Jamie. Oh. <laughs> yeah, fuck movies. I don't... I'm going to the movies tomorrow. What are you going to go see? Doctor Strange. For how many times? Once. No, I mean, how many times have you seen it? Oh, this will be the second. Oh, okay, that's not the best. Not the only reason I'm going to go see it... Well, I really did you enjoy it. You get excited about but... Pez! Oh, okay. Um, Banned! I <laughs> view for two minutes. <laughs> um, no, I did like Doctor Strange, but I'm mostly the reason that I'm going again is because I had five dollars in Fandango credit and the ticket was six dollars. So Marvel movie tier list. <laughs> we have been for six. <laughs> no, okay. You haven't seen, haven't seen half of them. I haven't seen the important ones. I would have opinions on that one. I'm not even that big into Marvel generally, but we're gonna we're gonna download this. Cool. Or we're gonna. Oh. Uh. Oh, that's weird. Didn't show uh, up on uh, here. Oh, there it goes. Dang. Yeah, that, 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 that one's delayed. That's oh. the actual stream. No, oh, I know, okay. but okay, never mind. Okay. Did it get it? Yes. Awesome. Cool. Fast food tier list? Oh, we, can, we can find a fast I'm food I'm down. Let's go, dude. I'm having a great time. Let's see. Well, we, gotta, we gotta find one that's decent. We gotta... Maybe. Oh, God. I am immediately thinking that this is maybe a, <laughs> a, a rough... Are you, are, you, rough thing. are you less confident in I don't in your... eat fast food very often. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, well, okay, cas ca casual, casual, 
Uh, Guardians 1... Okay, no. No. Guardians 1 was very good, though. I will agree with that. Wait, go back to the other one? Okay, we this wanted... is a little bit better. This is, this is a little bit more lenient. Because, like, I wouldn't really put Domino's as fast... Like... I think it's no, it could yeah, be classified. No, no, no. As... Yeah, no, no, but but like D Domino's and and Subway and yeah, like I'm okay that's with this. that's the shit that's like quick food. Yeah, which I'm actually okay yeah. with. Which fast food is the best fast food on the tier list maker? Which is the best candy? Uh, editing the stream. Truly a behind-the-scenes uh, yeah, sneak that peek that you see. don't see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, quick! Before before our uh, experience is ruined, we're just gonna we're just gonna get rid of all these I'm, ads. I'm not using ad blocker. I don't know what I'm you not could possibly <laughs> possibly mean by that. All right. All right. Uh, Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, first off, why why not just call it A tier? I don't know. That's fine. We can have an A tier and a. Yeah. You know, I don't. I don't think we could. I, well, I don't think we should call any fast food S tier, <laughs> because the like one fast food place that I would call S tier uh -huh. is morally corrupt. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> okay. Uh, a and W. Have you ever been to an A and W? No, but I've had root beer before. I do. Root beer is gross. I do like their root beer. <laughs> I started saying that, and I. Hmm. C tier. Sorry. Yeah, well, because no, there's that's that's color science. Like, yeah, color science. Genuinely, uh, red, 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 red is like. Thank you, Nat. Red, red makes you want to move quicker, which is why when I'm in your room, I'm in an existential hellscape. Because <laughs> yeah, there's red all around you and blue all around me. <laughs> well, yeah, it is contrasting, huh? Yeah. Um, no, that's why. Like that, that's very intentional. Yeah, absolutely. and and it's why. Um, like places like Walmart and Target, they are like we're gonna pick one of those two colors. Mm -hmm. to represent our brand because Walmart is like the blue it makes you go slower and red and Target is red it makes you go faster now, obviously even though I would much rather spend a day in a Target than a Walmart Different every, story. every day of the week all right so uh corporate chain even though list. the only one of those two that I've slept in before is a Walmart uh but yes I highly recommend looking into like color science and like how it how it affects it's like, very interesting uh your 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 mood how hungry you are things like that it's fascinating it's very interesting uh Arby's uh never had it it's, it's not good. great Baja Fresh never had it Blimpy never had it I don't see what this Boston one. Market Boston. disgusting is it it is so gross clearly you feel strong one of that. one of my friends <laughs> didn't even give me no. a chance to... <laughs> this is you using your executive 100%. power. 100%. All right, that's fine. Um, Are he's F tier? Okay. I'm, uh, yeah, okay. I'm okay with that, actually. Uh, Burger King is gross. Yeah. Never Canes? had Canes. I don't... Have I been to Canes? I feel like I've been to Canes. Never, never been to Canes. I don't remember, though. Carl's Jr. Never been. Checkers. Never been. Chick-fil-A. Okay. <laughs> I think... Uh, Purely ignoring the company and only looking at the food and service. A. Okay. Because if that's, we're, a, that's a whole different thing. If we're considering how morally corrupt they are as a company, but you balance it with the food, it's like D tier. And also, but okay, but then you throw in the service and it's like B tier. Uh... BK isn't good, but the one the one time I remember having Burger King, it was the most disgusting burger I've ever had. <laughs> and you work at a burger place, but which means that you get that sick also of was like a decade ago. That's fair. Uh, Do you think Burger King deserves a D tier? Maybe, but like bottom if it does. We'll keep it an F tier for now. Uh, Chipotle B tier. I'm okay with that. Uh, I like Chipotle. Church's chicken. Never had it. Me neither. Cookout. So, okay, okay. So cookout's gonna be an interesting one. Are we gonna have different opinions about cookout? Possibly. What's your opinion about cookout? I I had cookout for the first time in like a decade recently, mm -hmm. and it was not good. Yeah. Cookout. Okay, but like. It was not good. Yeah. Cookout's not amazing, but it's it's that like. It's the college student uh, 
calories per dollar spent. That's I like would absurd. I would rather eat it over Burger King or Boston Market. Oh, 100%. But that is like D tier. Well, we'll put it tenant of D tier. Uh, Culver's. The like one or two times I've had it, it's fine. C tier. I'm okay with that. Del Taco. Never had it. Me neither. Denny's. I've never had Denny's. I mean, I imagine it's just IHOP, right? Have you been to Denny's? Uh, Chipotle B tier. People that call Chipotle Mexican F tier. One hundred percent correct. One hundred percent. Um, no, I don't think I've ever had Denny's. Okay. Uh, Domino's. Okay. I've lost it on Domino's. Yeah? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Um, once again, I'm gonna bring up the morally corrupt company thing. I Papa John's is a terrible company, but, like, I would rather eat Papa John's pizza. Okay, if, I... If I, we are I, dropping morals... <sighs> Domino's is C-tier, probably below Culver's. I'm okay with that. Here's my thing. Go for it. So... Our parents, <laughs> God bless them. I don't live. I don't live with my parents anymore. But um, they used to buy Domino's pizza in bulk, like like twelve boxes, and they would like... freeze it so that we would have pizza on hand. They would like wait for a sale to happen, and then they would buy Domino's, and then we would have pizza on hand for months. It freezes pretty well. Actually. It actually does, but the crust makes me sick <laughs> Fair. it's not particularly like disgusting yeah it, but it makes pizza, me sick like... and and like the only time if 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 ever like my friends are like let's get some pizza i'm getting Domino's. i'm gonna be like i will pay you to get extra to get a thin crust uh, yeah so okay, i do but... not have to get because the thin crust is way better right in in my opinion i think it's fine i'm not i'm not super huge into it but like it's totally edible for me yeah uh De pollo, de pollo, no. El Pollo Loco? The, the Pollo Yoko, Jake. The, the Crazy Chicken, Michael. Yes. Never had it. Okay. <laughs> uh, fire us up. C tier. C tier? I'm okay with that. Probably. I, I would probably eat Firehouse. Oh. Oh, we can't. Out. We can't put in and out at, in a tier. Neither of us We've have had never it. been to California. Well, okay, we've been to California, but it's been fifteen years. We may be going in a couple months. Maybe we'll try. We are going in a couple months for sure. Yes. Um, Dairy Queen. Yes. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Five guys. As fast food goes, B tier. I'm very much okay with that. You you seem upset, Bo. <laughs> Uh, I hop. <laughs> really? That strong of an opinion? No. It, it, okay, so it's mostly played out, but I don't like I hop. I probably would have put it in D tier. D tier. Personally. Okay with that. Why are you offended, Bo? We've never been. It's not our fault. Yeah, expensive a trip to California costs. California. It's at least twenty dollars. I don't have that in my pocket. I do. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Nah. That's not how this works, Bo. We can't just trust... We can't... Yeah, that's not... You're not... This is not your list. If you want to do a list with us, you come over. It's a half-hour drive. You can make it in time, <laughs> Uh, Jack in the Box. Never had it. Me. It's not cool. here. Jersey Mike's. Uh, F tier. But... Let me explain. Where do you... Okay. No, no, no. Actually, uh, you put Jersey Mike's where you think Jersey Mike should I, I would probably put a D tier. Okay. My first job in high school was at Jersey Mike's. And it was, it was, it was actually a pretty great first job. Um, I was really good at it. Uh, and it was a very, very small group, like working together. There were only like six employees at any given time. Um, and it was, it was actually a pretty good experience, but like, I think I've had take out subway sandwiches subway sandwiches not subway sandwiches like twice since i left high school <laughs> which was a long time ago <laughs> yeah. yeah just uh, nah, nah. jimmy johns mm, yeah, i don't know c tier oh, okay that's that. about the same as like firehouse for me i'll probably put it a bit above firehouse okay. personally that's fair but 
Uh, Jolly Bee. Never had it. Me neither. Great. KFC. Don't like it. Yeah. I'm not sure I would put it in F tier. Yeah. A uh, little season. F tier. <laughs> really? Yes. I would not put it that low personally. Sonic at Sonic S tier. It's the reason I'm alive. My family so poor that the brother home trays. Dang. Okay, we'll give it like half a point. Extra. Half a point. Uh, say Long John Long John Silvers. Silvers. Never had it. Okay. Uh, McDonald's. F tier. <laughs> this steamrolling me here. Kid. I don't. I'm not. No, it's okay. You can you can put you can put it in D tier. It's okay. Moe's. Um, it's worse Chipotle. I actually like Moe's. C tier? I, I will I will accept high C tier. Okay. Uh, Noodles and Co. Pretty much as middle of the pack as you can get for me, personally. Like, I'll eat it. Bottom of C? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Panda Express. Gross. Cool. No. <laughs> uh, Panera. Uh... B, B tier. I agree, Nat. I, yeah. Uh, I'd put Panera in B tier. I'm okay with that. Uh, Papa I, I think I think Panera is big for its britches. Uh -huh. I think it's pretentious as hell. But I don't dislike their food. I'm okay with that. So, uh, yeah, Papa John's, I would put probably top of C tier. Oh, I'll, I'll put it up here for now, yeah. Uh, PDQ. Never had. No idea. Penn Station. Never had. Pizza Hut. Uh... I guess we put it in C because that's where all the <laughs> all other, other pizzas pizza are. are going. Uh, if you want, if you want pizza, make They're gonna pizza. Be, it's gonna be C tier. Other <laughs> go to, go to a pizza place and not fast food. Yeah, pizza. Popeyes. Um, I've only had Popeyes like one time, but it was very good. I I would be comfortable when I had it, it like upper B or an A. I'll just put it upper B just because I don't want to be like I'm okay with that. Super big on it. Portillo never had it. Cool. Pot never had it. Cadoba. It's, it's, again, I just feel like it's worse Chipotle. Uh, same place as wherever you put fire, um, Moe's for me. I'll put it lower. Uh, Quiznos. I don't even know which way the Quiznos is. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't remember the last time I ate at a Quiznos, Call honestly. Uh, Never what, had what, it. Okay. Sabaro? Have, okay, so you know what Sabaro is? Nope. Sabaro is mall pizza. I would I would definitely lean towards pretty bottom of the barrel. There. Okay. Schlotsky's. A tier. Yes. And I will die on that hill. I think objectively maybe it's B tier, but I kind of don't maybe, care. Yeah, maybe B tier. Objectively it might be C tier, but like <laughs> I I love, love Schlotsky's. Uh Shake Shack. I've never been to a Shake Shack. Have you? I've been to it once and it was in New York. How was it? It was decent. Alright, we'll put it in a decent cotton. Uh, I will put it I will put it in C tier. Awesome. Uh Sheets. Uh, where do you think sheets should go? Probably like I would D. probably agree with that. Okay. Also, someone pointed out that the KFC bow tie just looks like a mini stick figure body, and now I can't <laughs> see it. <laughs> oh no! I've been looking at that the entire oh, time, no. and like I can't not say I it. I hate that. <laughs> Why would you do that to me? My life is we're different like, now. We're almost done. Jesus. Uh, I don't know what this one is. Skyline? Skyline? Never had it. Cool. Uh, Sonic. I've I never been to Sonic. Sonic. Uh, his games are mid C tier. Some of his games are good. As a whole, his games yeah, are agree. mid. Uh, Steak and Shake. Never had Steak and Shake. Okay, great. Subway. Mmm. I want it below Jersey Mike's. <laughs> That's fair, I guess. Uh, Swenson's? Never had it. Cool. Uh, Taco F tier. Bell? Okay. <laughs> if you get to put Bojangles in A tier, I absolutely get to put Taco Bell in you, F tier. You're using, you're using your, uh, your, your call I'm just that? doing it backwards, okay. yes. Uh, Taco Cabana. Never had it. Cool. Uh, to Never Torch? had it. Oh, okay. Waffle House? Not good. <laughs> F D. Probably. Uh, no, I'd rather eat it over Arby's. Fair. Uh, wow, wow. Never had it. Wendy's. B. I would say probably. What did you do? What did you do? What, just happened? what did you do? I don't know, and I'm scared. <laughs> I don't want to have to redo all of that. Okay. Oh. Okay. We're good. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, that was 
horrifying. Yes, I hated was. that. Uh, I'm okay with like a high high B on one. I'd put, uh, would you put it in A tier? Maybe. I would put it in B tier. I would I would eat it over five guys in Panera. I I no I'd put it in B tier. Okay, I'm okay with that. Uh, Waterburger. Never been. White Castle. Good. I like White Castle burgers. I'm not a fan of White Castle. Okay, we can put it in C then. Okay. Uh, that Wiener one. Schnitzel. They just have hot dogs. They're not there. They're not that great. Have you had them? I have. Uh... Hmm. <laughs> This is going to be the hardest decision mm. of the entire thing, James. Where do I put my wiener? Um... God damn it. Yeah, yeah probably F. Okay. I would not, I would not I search I don't know it. what this one is. Wings! It is wings. Yeah, I don't cool. know. Uh, I can't tell what that one is. Half is of that, these wings. stop? I, yes. I've heard of that, actually. Never had it. Uh, okay. Next okay, we should have a conversation about this. White Castle makes me feel like Shrek because of all the onion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but like, grilled onion on a burger is delicious. I'm not the biggest fan, but also I, I'm not just I'm just not the biggest fan of onion in general. Okay, I don't dislike it, but I like Zaxby's more than I think it's good food. I will, I will be okay with that assessment. I would put it... I would be okay with, like, B tier. Bottom of B tier. I think that's fair. So, what we've learned today... White Castle makes me feel like Shrek because of all the onion. I'm just not... So, what we've learned They're today... They're burgers. Is that we don't that eat we don't fast, fast food. food. This was a terrible tier list to yes. choose. <laughs> okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, what? 10, 11, 12, 24... Okay, 20, yes, 20. a lot okay. of them. It's okay, we can do something else. Uh... <laughs> All right. Half of them we don't know. Okay, A tier. I, uh, I, I don't th actually think Bojangles is top of that. No. I do like Bojangles I a think lot. you should leave it there, though, because I yeah? refuse to give Chick-fil-A the win. That's fair. And I don't think Chick uh, Schlotzky's is, is... Better is, than either of those? Yeah. I... Yeah. I'm okay with that. Okay. Uh... <sighs> See, okay, so here's the thing about B tier. For me, mm -hmm. B tier is, like... None of them are going to be my first choice. Right. I am not going to be mad at a single one of them. If, if someone was like, hey, we're going, do you want to yeah, go? Like, you'd be like, never, okay. never okay. would I be mad at that. I'm fair. I'm, I'm okay with so that. So I have almost no opinion. I would maybe say Popeye's near the bottom just because I have less experience with it personally, but I'm going to let you make that call. You can you order B how you think B is, is best to be suited, and okay. I will be okay with it. Popeye's is basic. For The most like immediate comparison that everyone makes is that it's Bojangles. Um... Because their thing is chicken and biscuits. Yep. Um, I haven't had their chicken sandwich. I have had their chicken tenders. Their biscuits taste the exact same. Um, As Bojangles? Yes. I like their biscuits, so it's good. Um, I actually think I prefer Bojangles chicken over Popeyes. Okay. But it's not the same. Okay. Um, because Bojangles uh, chicken is like tenders. Mm-hmm. While the uh, Popeyes has like they have like bites, right? Well, no, they're still like tenders, but they have like they feel they feel more homemade. Like they have like tendrils of like uh, of like bits hanging off that have also been mm -hmm. like fried. Okay, and they're like they're different. Okay, um, I I like them. I think okay. they're good. Uh, I think Wendy's deserves to be t near top of the list, if not top, because like they're not like fantastic, but they're consistent. And their food's fine. It's just wild to me that, like, Wendy's versus McDonald's is, like, the, the big no, comparison. And to me, it's, like, A not, no -brainer, yeah. not even close to comparing yeah. the two. Uh, I am looking a bit preemptively down here. I might, I, I might personally move Moe's up to B tier. Okay. You can do that. A tier. No, <laughs> no we're not doing that. Did someone say Taco Bell? And no! <laughs> God, Taco Bell is the bottom. Uh, I like it. <laughs> it's gross. That's a, I'm, I would also be okay with keeping Moe's near the bottom. Um, honestly, I'm okay with that. Okay. I can live with it. Cool. Uh, C tier. I, uh, I think White Castle should remain near the top. I'm okay with that. 
I think of the three pizza places that are there, I would most like Four. to eat Papa John's for... What's Jimmy John's? The... Jimmy John's is a sandwich place, Michael. They... Oh, no, what am I thinking of? I swear there was another John's. Papa John's. No, I, I, think, I thought there was another <laughs> John's, Jamie. <laughs> I swear there was another. Am I just insane? I'm probably just insane. It's fine. Of the three you were saying. I would I would rather eat Papa John's first. I'm okay with that. And then Domino's Pizza Hut? I can live with that decision, yes. Okay. Um, what do we think about Culver's? It's just, I've only been there like once or twice as well. It's like, just food, man. Like, yeah. Culver's is, is just whatever. It's fine. I would put it around the same place as Noodles, honestly. Like Lower? Maybe maybe lower than noodles, actually. Okay, I'm okay with that. Do you have a strong opinion about Shake Shack? Not particularly. Okay. I'm okay with leaving it there, though. That's fine. Yeah, whatever. All right, that do was... you hear? <sighs> okay. Honestly, I feel like KFC goes slightly up for D tier. Cause like I'm not a huge fan of like the, the 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 fried chicken that they have, but it's fine. I would move Jersey Mike's up. Yeah. Two. Yes. Again. You don't like them, but they make okay food? I would rather have it over Subway every single time. I'm the other way, actually. But that's because I always get one sandwich from uh, Subway, and it's always super fucking basic. Mm, yeah, well, that's okay, too. <laughs> so I, I I think, I of the, like, dozen or so times I've been to a Subway, I think I've gotten the same thing every single time. That's fine. So I don't really have all that much experience with it. I don't want cookout at the top. That's fair. I don't want KFC at the top either. No. Wait, hang on. I didn't think this through. You've done this to yourself. Shit. <laughs> uh, uh, the, other, the problem God. is that, like, none of these deserve to be at the top no. of D tier. <laughs> no, they kind of don't. Uh, okay. Cookout. Mm -hmm. Not in the bottom, but low. Sheets may be below cookout. I'm okay with that. I hop maybe below Subway. I'm also okay with Let's that. Let's leave it with that. Okay. Uh, all of these are gross. <laughs> okay. Of those... Yes. If I had to eat something... Mm -hmm. McDonald's would probably be at the top. Yeah. Well, I mean, put Culver's up at the top of D... Do we, comp okay, do okay. we compromise? That actually... <laughs> that actually, you know... I can live with I'm that. I'm okay with that. That actually does <laughs> solve that issue. That. <laughs> Props to you, buddy. I can live with that. Uh, okay. Uh, I also haven't been to... Like, five of these. Okay. I will let you be mostly in charge of it. Alright, McDonald's... Panda Express. I'm gonna say all of this through gritted teeth. That's fine. Because none of it is good. God damn. <laughs> uh, no, I can do this. Um, I believe in you. Sabaro. Wiener Schnitzel. We can put Little Caesars next. I see you reaching for it. <laughs> it's like, I, I don't. I honestly kind of like Little Caesars. I think they're not good, though. The rest of that I'm okay with. Yeah, I don't feel too strongly about those. I haven't they're been to gross. These, I haven't been to these two. Or, but, you know, it's so funny. I had never been to a Boston market before, and Jenny, that's her favorite place. And, and then you she went, was and you're like, Ooh. so excited to take me there. She was so excited. I gotta tell you, never in my life have I eaten food with so much salt in it before. It was just that. salt. It was just spoonfuls of salt. That is unfortunate. It was disgusting. And I was so let down. Because she was so, so excited. excited. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, well, great. Now I'm the asshole. Because <laughs> I can't. Alright. I think that's I think that's a pretty fair assessment of like... No, I, 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 I tend to agree. I think I think this is this is solid. I definitely, like, I know my perspective of Bojangles is so, skewed, because I little, fucking love Bojangles. Yeah. I, but to, I think they're good. To, like, to, no, 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 they're good, but genuinely, to put into perspective, I, 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 it literally got to a point where 
we've gone on trips before and we've drive past a Bojangles and we were like, no. <laughs> no, he didn't even say anything. We were like, no. No. <laughs> it's like, it's my go-to because like... There, in fairness, there is one like five minutes from us. Well, there's one five minutes from house, from like our house. There's like two five minutes from our house actually. But there's also one five minutes from my girlfriend's house. What's the other? The one on Laura Duncan. It's like eight uh, minutes, mm, but... Why can't I picture that one in my head? So you you go down 64. No, no, no. Never mind. Okay. Um. Yeah. I yeah. No, Bojangles was good. I like Bojangles. I've come around to it more that we've eaten it more often because of because you. of me. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Um. But I would rather eat Chick Fil A over that's it. That's fair. Even uh, if you know. Yeah. They suck. Even if they are the Did worst. We download. Everywhere Did you go in the state is a Bojangles. You kind of right though. They're kind of, like, hella popular. And yeah. I don't think it's entirely unwarranted, but they're kind of, like, hella popular. Well, yeah, I don't know. I, the It's so weird, like, you talk... Because fast food uh, restaurants have such varying strategies when it comes to, like, proliferating the market. Like, some places are, you know, they're very uh, uh, location-centric. Like, mm -hmm. they want to have a lot of places in, in a specific space because that's where most of their market is. Some places... Um, are like franchise everything as fast as you can. Subways like that. John Oliver just did a piece on that. Mm. Worth watching. Um, very predatory, apparently. Um, McDonald's is super interesting. They actually buy the buildings that they franchise out, so the franchisee doesn't actually own the land or the building. Huh. The company does. So, like, they're kind of also in the real estate business. <laughs> Interesting. It's very strange. Um, you know, every, every company has a slightly different strategy. It's just, uh, it's an interesting discussion point. Yeah. Um, but uh, the core of this is uh, don't, eat <laughs> don't eat Any, here. Don't eat here. Anything, anything like, below, first off, anything below D tier, never, ever. Like, <laughs> just do your best. Uh, but... Yeah. But, you know, fast food is... It's kind of... To be fair, fast food's point is not the quality no, of the food. No, no. However... Well, and, and there's nothing wrong with indulging oneself on occasion, right. but... Or every other day. Well, <laughs> there might be something wrong with that. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. But that's fine. Do you really go there every No, day? of course not, Jamie. You say that as if I don't expect it. It's kind of fair. I, I honestly haven't been to Bojangles in a couple weeks, but... Wow. I know. Good for I th you. I think the last time I went to Bojangles was uh, when, we, when Bo and I got Bojangles. So at least at least a week and a half, if not two weeks ago. But I know I'm recovering. I... Recovering addict? The first the first step is... We did uh, have an intervention. <laughs> we talk about there that. were a lot of tears. Hey, we talk about <laughs> uh, so I guess, I guess our next question is what do we do now? Do we do we do one more? I'm I'm good to keep going if you want to keep going. I'm having a great time. I kind of am as well. We got to figure out what we're gonna do. Okay. Cause there there's a lot there's a lot of stuff we could do. What's is there like a is there like if you go to to tiermaker.com is there like a, a a trending list? That's a good question. Feature uh, sports. The best movies of 2012. Math characters. We're Jamie. not doing that. Video games of all time. Call of Duty, all the same mm, except for like three of them. No, okay. That's not quite true. All the same except for like five of them. Okay, <laughs> okay no remember, we don't we don't we don't necessarily need to like do this one. <laughs> Which one are we doing? Uh no, well I like I said we don't need to necessarily do it, but can I just see what's on greatest video games of all time? This I just one? wanna yeah, I just wanna I just wanna parse through real quick and yeah. see. We got Let's see. Bioshock, Castlevania, Fallout, Half Life, Street. Why Fighter, are some Smash. of these like have like little I don't know. Icons maybe, made for them, like and some of them don't. I don't know. It's kind of strange. Half Life, Street Fighter, Smash, uh, TF2, Until Dawn. Okay. Uh, Warframe, Uncharted. Dude, we're in the minority. People love that game. But to call it the greatest game of all no. time, it's garbage. Absolutely dude. not. Like but... it, that's one of those games that like you make a drinking game out of it. Like... Oh, a hundred percent, my dude. A hundred percent. Warframe, Uncharted. I believe that's Yakuza. Yakuza, yeah. Ya Yakuza. 
uh, Battlefield. Is that Tony Hawk Pro Skater? There's two specifically. Oh, the one with with Pooterman in it. Pooterman's in yeah, it. Yeah, Pooterman is in it. Uh, Red Dead. Red Dota. Dead. Cool. Scroll down. Fire Emblem. Yada yada. Roblox. It's actually it's actually Borderlands two best game. Okay. Also, okay, before you before you go off on a tangent, Borderlands three is free on the Epic Game Store right now. Borderlands is a fun series. But Beat Saber. I gotta be very careful about how I say this. <laughs> While it is surprisingly deep mechanically, it lacks a lot of engagement that other multiplayer shooters have. And by that I mean the tone of the game is basic. I know that's kind of a hot take, but it's like it's I mean it's it's entertaining. It's funny enough, but it's not like it doesn't make me like want to die of laughter because it's so funny. And I don't find it a particularly exciting experience by myself. I recognize it's not really built to be played by yourself, but mm. it's like you absolutely can, and it's just not... It's just not that great. Now, that being said, I've had so much fun playing that game with other people. Yeah. I've had so much fun playing that game with other I people. Know, I know um, Tales isn't quite the same, like, format-wise. No, Tales is a, a, a Telltale. Tales from the Borderlands? No, it's not. What am I thinking of? No, Tales from the... Wait, is Tales from the Borderlands Telltales? Or is... Which one is the one Let's that... open Steam and find out. Fucking... Telltale did a Borderlands game. Yes. It is Tales from the Borderlands. I'm not insane. That's why it feels like such a different experience. Cool. Because uh, that's the only one that I've, like, really played. Yeah. Um, I think I got the Handsome Jack collection, though. Um, and I, I streamed some of uh, Tales. I quite enjoyed it, but it wasn't... That, that definitely felt, like, so much more, like, single-player mm -hmm. oriented than what I understand the rest of the series to be. So, so I'm I'm looking at this list, and a lot of it makes a lot of sense. Like, 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 I see League of Legends, I see Super Mario Galaxy, I see Portal, I see Just Dance. Like, these are games that make sense to be on a list like this. Right. And then I see games. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, Heyday, which I have never heard of. Hitman, which I have heard of, but like... Telltale's The Walking Dead, which is a masterpiece and 100%. absolutely should not be considered a top game of all time. Like, it's very important. No. Original Walking Dead? No. Okay. No. Wolf Among Us. Every single time. Yes, it's very, yeah. Like, not even close. Like, oh. not even close. Good to know. Have you played Wolf Among Us? No. Oh, we gotta do that, brother. I I, I sat through y'all's playthrough though, so I'm it is familiar a with what happens. Masterpiece, and they're making another one. Finally. That's fair. It's a rather shallow humor, but a thousand percent better as a group. Yeah, like like I I have a good time with Borderlands, but I'm not gonna sit here and be like, it's the best game ever. Get and there is it. no way that Pokemon Sword should be considered for this list. Are you insane? Pokemon tier list. Or Pokemon, Pokemon game tier list, not Pokemon tier list. We're not going through <laughs> nine hundred Pokemon. Pokemon. Uh, we can do that. We can okay. do that. Yeah. I think I for, I'm first. Are off, these just the core entries? Oh, this is just the core entries. You gotta get the spinoffs in there too, man. Come on. Well, there are a lot of spinoffs. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Are you sure that's a good idea? <laughs> <laughs> to wrap up that's a lot of spinoffs it's a lot of spinoffs Jamie. okay how about we do a rapid fire with the uh main series main series okay. and then we can do something else okay because we've we've had this discussion before yeah. and i feel like generally speaking platinum best game yes uh yes platinum is the best game <laughs> just go it, go ahead and put it it's there okay, cool. put it up there yes hard stop platinum, platinum is, is the best game, game. gen 4 is we can, <laughs> gen, gen 4 is objectively the best I think, it's I think, not my favorite, but it is the best. I think objectively Gen 4 is the best. Ooh. Before... Sonic game tier list. Alright. <laughs> um, uh, but also, Gen 4 includes the Heart Gold and Soul Silver remakes. Which, which are, are also Which fantastic. are great, yeah. So, like. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, They're not sort So, let's start at the beginning. Gen yeah. 1. Gen 1. Where the fuck? <laughs> it's kind of. It's kind of weird. So. 
Let's okay. How about let's not do let's not do generation. Let's do region. So when I say Gen One, I mean red, blue, green, leaf green, Sonic fire 05, red. Five best game. Uh -huh. Let's go. Okay. So I have very little experience with the original Pokemon games. I do as well. They're not very good. It was def. It was definitely very much a. Of the time, figuring shit out, like, of the time, it was you know revolutionary, but it's. But I'm looking. Toy back Story at, it. at the time was an incredible movie, and you like, are a. I probably not yell into my probably microphone. Probably was that has yes. To gain away the fuck up. Yes, Sorry, probably guys. was. <laughs> probably was. Also, yes, Toy! you may yell at me about my hot take on Toy Story. I'd put Gen One probably pretty low. So. I mean, I I don't. There's I, why would you go back and play other than nostalgia? Why would you go back and play original? Like there's over really interesting over color. fire red and leaf green. Why would you go back and play the original? Yeah. I feel like I should also note that uh, my opinions are likely to change over time. This is just this moment in time. I want to defend myself in the future if this comes up in a job interview or something. <laughs> You're like, uh, in 2022, are you set? Yeah. Am I dumb, by the way? Because I do not see... Oh, there's red. Yeah. Where's regular green? Well, they won't have green in this. The Americans didn't get oh, green. Oh, that's right. We yellow. only got... Okay. Yellow. Which you have to have Pikachu as your partner. Yellow. Yes. Okay, Gen 2. Uh, well, okay. That's fine. Not sorry. Yeah. No, it's fine. We can go. We can. We can do Gen two. I also. I also don't fucking. Oh shit! Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Which Pokemon? <laughs> which which Pokemon game is the, the best Pokemon game? <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. Oh uh, uh, great. You're gonna have to remind me of regions, especially for like the early games. So so uh no it's okay we can we can just go on to Gen two. Gen two is uh gold and silver. Mm. Um. Which they are at least a tier above because you get to play through Gen 1 again. That's our gold. Yeah, that's silver. We can adjust as necessary. Yes. Gen 3. Gen 3. Um, Emerald is A tier. I am okay with that. B tier for Ruby and Sapphire? A tier for Ruby and Sapphire? Well, they need to be below Emerald regardless. Right. Which means that it's either A or B, so. <laughs> As Thanks, I was saying. Shithead. <laughs> you should see. Wait, which one is this? That's silver. That's silver. That's also Gen 2. Crystal should be top of Gen 2. Okay. Was Crystal the, the definitive? Yes. Okay. Yeah, uh, Ruby Ruby and Sapphire probably... Make a decision. <laughs> <laughs> no, leave it like that. Okay. Uh, I like Sapphire more. That's it. I actually kind of also agree that Sapphire is better, but... Yeah, they're the same game. It's fine. Um, but it's better. And then uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green, uh, probably about the same. Yeah? Yeah, probably okay. so. Uh, Gen 4, Sinnoh, for Diamond and Pearl. Diamond and Pearl, I actually might posit, would be uh, B tier. B tier? They had a lot of issues. They did have a lot of issues, pretty much all of which were, were rectified yeah, by... Yeah, all of them by a platinum a, a godsend of a game yeah it's fucking oh cynthia yeah god cynthia uh, the last time i played through gen 4 i beat cynthia by an attack <laughs> yep and it was the best i've felt in years <laughs> well it's because like obviously there's like it's played up a lot in media and whatever but like first off the cynthia uh, theme fantastic actually like makes me like yeah. <laughs> Take a uh, step back and breathe yeah. whenever I hear it. I'm like, okay, it's fine. Uh, okay. So, yes. I'm, I'm okay with that. They had they had their issues. I maybe put them at the bottom of A tier, but I'm okay with B tier. We already got five things in A tier. Yeah. All right, so we got... We got... So hard gold, soul, silver. Uh, yes. Yeah, probably. Listen to me. We already have five things in A tier, and then I'm like, yeah. Where is you got it? Uh, okay, Gen 5. Black and white. Okay. Black and white B tier. Black and white 2 A tier? Yes. I'm okay with that as well, actually. 
I think the most time I've put into a Pokemon game outside of Sword and Shield, which is when I was playing it with people, was Black and White 2. Black and White... The thing that Black and White did better than every other Pokemon game, and it has never been topped, is aesthetic. Mm -hmm. It has the best visuals. It, it has so hard in the pencil the, art. The best music. And I like a lot of the original designs for the Pokemon. I do as well. It was a soft reboot for the series, and I, I think that it's been a long time. I might like it more if I go back and play it more, honestly. And there's definitely, you could be like, oh, they're lazy with their designs. Because, like, there are some that are, like... There, there are you some could, that, like, maybe you could say that. But you, like, you could have, then, you could have said that from the beginning of time, that's what though. I'm like, it's like, not a, it's not a one-to-one. -one there's a fucking whale. Okay, so now we get into, now we get into. I don't want to play these games. <laughs> yeah. So I, okay. So I have a soft spot for X and Y. I put a lot of time into Y. Um, but I think that's because it was the first Pokemon game I'd gotten since Gen Four. Mm -hmm. Um. And so I kind of had the, like, the magic of re-experiencing it while also being young enough that I couldn't give it, like, an objective analysis. Yeah. Uh, what did... 2013? Damn. I yeah. Was, yeah, I was gonna say I was in high school. So I, I was, was 13. Uh, so there's definitely some... You were not 13 in 2013. Sorry. I was 11. 11. <laughs> yeah, it's not 2020 anymore, believe it or not. I look, you think Black and White 2 were saviors for the series after Black and White were originally disliked by a lot of people. Were, were they not well-received? Uh, well, I, it was a soft reboot for the series. They, they, A lot of people were like, I have to put in, you know, 45, 50 hours to just get to the Pokemon that I want to see in the first place. Mm -hmm. Like, I... They, that wasn't that long. That Pokemon games? Yeah, yeah, usually they're like 40 hours long. Damn. It does not feel that long. <laughs> At least the old ones didn't. God, the new ones do. Well, yeah. yeah. Um. Okay, so X and Y. C tier? I'm willing to accept that, yes. Okay. I think X and Y are probably the worst Pokemon game. Well, no, they're not. No, they're not. Sun and Moon are the worst games. I was about to fucking say. No, Sun and Moon are the worst games. I did uh, yeah, not okay, like Sun and Moon. Game. Yeah, Sun Sun and Moon are not good. So like, nothing fucking happens. That's what I'm saying. The first ten hours of that game, nothing happens. It's the most frustrating thing, and also, it's especially upsetting <laughs> because the like the the location is such a neat yeah. place. Can I both thank you for stopping by? Bye boo. <laughs> Bye boo. Um. It, 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 like, it hits that same, like, kind of beach aesthetic that you get from, like, uh, Mario Sunshine. Yeah, and, yeah. Like, that, it's, it's... Like, it's a cool location, and, like, it's got some interesting Pokemon, too, but, but like... No, I don't uh, want to do it. I don't want to slog through it. Uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are slightly better. I will, I will... I might still put them in D tier, though. I'll put them above it for now. My, okay, here's my problem with Ultra Sun and Moon. Um, I burned through Pokemon Sun because I was like, "Fuck it, I want to get done with this." Mm -hmm. Um, you and then, burned like, through the sun. You can't do that, buddy. <laughs> it's like twenty five hundred degrees. How hot are you? Twenty five hundred and one. <laughs> I was gonna say it must have spent a lot of time at college. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but like. It starts the exact same way. Yeah, it does. Which means that the first ten hours are still the exact yeah. same way. And I know it. I know it, it has like more development on the plot and like a couple new like new mechanics and things like that. But like, yeah, I got I got like two hours into it. I'm like, I can't. Do this. Yeah, no, that's that's I I think I've started Sun Moon Ultra Sun Ultra Moon like <laughs> six times and yeah. I've never gotten farther than just getting off the first island. I can't. That's a shame too, because I actually like. They bring back like the the, the fusion mm -hmm. like idea from Black White too. I'm like that's awesome. Make but, the game yeah. more enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah. I don't I don't remember if it was Gen Six or Gen Seven. I think it was Gen Seven. Getting rid of our ability to control the e exp share. Fuck you. Yeah. 
I I don't for me personally I don't have a problem with it, but I I I do think that we get it. I do think they should not have done that. I, we, I do think it warrants a discussion about like the concept of of difficulty. In after Gen in, Five. No no no, not just in Pokemon, but in in JRPGs mm. generally, because a great deal of the 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 strategy that's involved is just like figuring numbers out mm. and that's not inherently a bad thing but it does also mean that if you grind long enough you'll get through it eventually anyway um and and so the they to disincentivize you they they, they want you to not want to grind so you strategize but then you get into I don't know it's it I'm I'm not I'm not like cohesive enough to really have a discussion about it yeah, but but I it, think it's you get your point across yeah it, like... it, it 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 warrants difficulty is kind of conceptual in these games is basically what I'm trying to say and like them taking away control over the AXP just like removes another level of agency that a player would have otherwise and yeah. I don't really feel like that's a win and like it it there's definitely something to be said about like intentionally designed experiences for games that have like a set difficulty because it's supposed to be yeah i don't have water <laughs> oh well then pretend bitch or i can just go get water in a second you could uh, i can entertain people for 30 seconds what <laughs> i also have a beer right back if we need to anyway um and it's definitely it's definitely like worth acknowledging that the developers designed the game to be played a certain way. Yeah, of course. And they can definitely, like, add options, but there's definitely an intended way. But also... Yeah. If you're gonna try try and do what Pokemon does and appeal to, like, such a, 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 a specific... Broad. But broad age range, right? Because it's well, very young but that's the thing that, that's, to, like, 25, 30. But that's the thing, right? It doesn't. Yeah. That's That's the problem. It doesn't try to appeal to a wide age range. It appeals to the same age range it always has. It refuses to acknowledge that the people who've grown up with the series are grown-ups now! Because Pokémon came out almost and 30 that, years ago. And that anyone can learn to press A over and over? Right. So, so... I'm not saying they've never done, like, more adult themes or design necessarily. I mean, you look at, like, the Battle Tower in Emerald and you're like, no child is gonna be able to right. figure out this. But, but... The, the the theming and the fact that it's always, you know, a 10-year-old or, in black and white case, like a 15-year-old, um, which just, by the way, opened the door to so much porn. My god. So much. Um, yeah. Not, okay, <laughs> not that stopped anybody before. No, it didn't. But. That's true. But anyway, tangent. Um... Yeah, it's that's that's one of the issues that the games have is they they refuse to like they refuse to grow up a little bit. Yeah, they have adapted to the times somewhat with with like raid battling and you know a stronger implementation of online. But yeah. Nintendo's online has never been that good in the first place. So uh... yeah, I, I yeah. Uh... So let's go. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, hot take. I like Let's Go more than any other version of uh, Gen One. I'm okay with that. Where are you gonna put it though? Mm. Just put it in A tier. We don't need to like. I'm 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 too scared to like try and sort these top to bottom. That's fair. So just put it in A tier. <sighs> you don't want to put it in A tier. I would probably put it. Put in it in A-tier. B tier. That's fine. Uh. Just because I like it more that way doesn't mean that everybody does. I actually like what they did with it. I think that, uh, I think that the buddy system was interesting. Uh, I feel like it was so exploitable. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, it kind of was. You could have, like, a level 30 EV beat the game. Well, like, the, the other, the, and also, like, it sucks that you can't bring that Pokemon that they force you to have a relationship with you anywhere else. Or evolve it. It has to live in that game. Yeah, that's also annoying. I don't know. But, again, that was supposed to be a callback to yeah. Yellow version, so... Which I... is fair, but also, like... Uh, Oris. Mm, yeah. They were 
horrifying. Yeah, probably so. Sword I cannot. Shield. I've gone back through Oblivion shit. I cannot believe that at one point I wrote and meant that Oros was everything I wanted in a remake for Gen 3. I cannot believe that I said that. Whoops. How opinions have changed God over time. Damn. Sword and Shield. I thought they were good games. I actually quite enjoyed them as well. Um, they do the thing with Pokemon where they have like the most predictable plot ever, like every other Pokemon. But that's game. another thing, like do something with your plots. Yeah, but what, what? your problem is that they tried to do that in Gen Six, and Gen Six was terrible. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, there's your not definitive at all <laughs> tier list. B but also. Platinum's the best Pokemon game. If you haven't played it, please, for the love of God, go play it. Yeah, Platinum is so good. I also okay, so we can also have a discussion about like the, the art style because I'm not a huge fan. Of, I they have to at this point, but I'm not a huge fan of the transition into 3D art. I know it's not really feasible for them to go back at this point. Um, because but God, they, wouldn't it be great? Because they have committed so hard to the 3D models. And they have nine fucking hundred of them. They, they, it's they not... shoehorn, shoehorn themselves into a corner where they can't go back. Well, it would cost so much money. Yeah. It would cost so much money to have to do any number of Pokemon, any other art style, hard stop. So, like, that's when, when people were criticizing Sword and Shield about reusing models. It was like, okay... But of course they were going to reuse of the course. models. Of course, like they could. Like, God, you think they'd be able to afford that? No. Like, no. I mean, they could. I mean, it's yes, the it's biggest Pokemon, multimedia but... franchise in the comp in the world. But uh, I, I at least I can understand the, the thing that, that I can, I can, I can, I can excuse the the reusing models. What I cannot excuse is the fact that their games look like dog shit. Like I can't, I can't. Yeah. I can't get over that ish. When people were coming out about Sword and Shield and being like, this tree looks dumb. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> it does. It's kind of ridiculous. And you it... can't look at a game like Xenoblade 2 and tell me it's running on the same the system. Wild. Like, yeah, you can't. Yeah. You just can't. Yeah. It's not even close. And, like, also play Xenoblade 2. It's a very flawed game. But if I love you can it. buy it for, like, 120 bucks, good luck. You can um, buy it digitally for full price. That's fair. Um,. Which I might have to, because my cartridge is busted, because I put too much time in it. <laughs> um, but also, like, th there's certainly an argument that you can make about it's the gameplay experience over the visual experience. Oh, for sure. But, like, there's there's a point where you can't really compromise well, anymore. No, no, no. I, I think there is... I, yes. But also, like, we're not talking about an indie dev no, who has very about. limited you know resources both both financial and time to work with well, you can absolutely we're talking about that, yeah. the biggest company in the world so, we can't like uh, what's, what's well, game, it's not the game biggest Freak? company in the world but it's you know, the biggest gaming company in the world game Dreek? shut up like my keyboards are in a different spot than it normally is and it's fucking up with typing uh out of curiosity you know okay you know what not quite as big as I was expecting it to no, be I... but also that's still fucking huge Anyway, yeah, I just, anyway, my point remains. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 it's, it's especially annoying just because, like, well, that's like Legends of Arceus. This, this is this. Well, okay, I still haven't played Legends of Arceus. So we'll come played on. it? No, I look. I'm, <laughs> I've been I, struggling. I know recently. you have like eight billion games to play through, and yeah. also life going on. Yeah, but you li know. life has been taking priority recently. Um, but it's, that's one of the reasons that Let's Go felt so refreshing because it felt like a complete game <laughs> well it felt like a complete game but it also felt like they gave a fuck about it mm -hmm. like sword and shield didn't have that same energy it didn't yeah you I, i'm not trying to say of course that they didn't care but it didn't feel like they were as passionate about right it. exactly yeah it's like, not that they wanted to make a bad game or didn't care about making a good game it said that we're just there, making the energy game. the energy behind let's go was something we haven't felt in my opinion since at least gen 6 maybe gen 5 yeah definitely gen 5 maybe gen 6 definitely gen 6 that was when they did the full transition I, i'll give him gen 6 That's fair. anyway point remains um 
I don't know. I. Uh. Yeah. Also, uh, BDSP. No. I like the They're speed gross. runs of it. They're gross. I, I do not like the art style. No, that's terrible. I don't. I don't. The worst part is like even. I don't even like. Don't. I don't even dislike chibi art styles. But no. It's okay. But like again. I'm gonna do a direct comparison to another Nintendo Switch game. When you look at something like, uh, which Legend of Zelda game was it? Damn it! It was a remade Game Boy game. I'm not a Legend of Zelda player. I'm sorry. Uh, Legend of Zelda Tales. <laughs> I would have no input. Yeah, I played like one. I game. liked Wind Waker and Breath of the Wild. There you go. Um, I also like Breath of the Wild. It was the uh, DX. Link's Awakening. Link's Awakening. Um, that They remade that entire game in chibi art style, and it was beautiful. It was gorgeous. The lighting was wonderful. The textures they used on all the models were perfect and pretty, and God, it was so attractive. And BDSP looked like dog shit. It was so bad. I'm not a big yeah. believer that graphics define your game, but if I can already play Platinum... Which is just the better game anyway. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. And... Anyway, go play Platinum. Yeah, that's it's the, it's... Re the TLDR. Uh, it is. If you're gonna play, if you're gonna play Pokemon games, Gen three, Gen four, Gen five, you yes. can be done with it. Yes. Hard stop. You don't have to do the rest of them. Gen three, Gen four, and Gen five are all you need. Play Emerald. Play Platinum. Play Black, Black or White too. I would say Emerald, Platinum, Black and White 2, uh, and one of either Heart Gold or Soul Silver. Yeah, I think, yeah. That's it. Those are the only four games you ever need. I, I think it's fair to say that Gen 4, especially Platinum, is probably the hardest Pokemon game. Probably so, yes. Uh, for the main series, at least. Um, yeah. I, I, if you I, exclude uh, Emerald's post-game, because I think that... I, I, I know people who have put literally a thousand hours in Emerald and still not beat the post game. So, interesting. I'm not I'm not as familiar with that with that uh, area. I I did not put a whole lot of time into it because it was hard. Fair. <laughs> I respect that. But well, there's our Pokemon tier list that we were gonna do quickly. Um, Oops. <laughs> and, not, and not do a deep dive into. Yeah, it's fine. I think uh, again, not definitive at all. Not at all, except for Platinum, which we're. Yeah. That, I think that's the one that we would be like, that's definitive. Yeah. Play Platinum. Platinum. Platinum is the best. <laughs> uh, that said, I think that's probably a good place to wrap up. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go get water so I can finally do Fulfill this. Fulfill this, this uh, drink water request. Like 20 minutes. Probably so, yeah. It's okay. All right, I'm going to hack the computer real quick. We're just going to get it. What the fuck did you do? That was so fast. I only got like, like that much water. <laughs> Uh, okay. Right. Uh, <laughs> just for you, Nut. Stay hydrated, folks. Okay, we'll cut back to conversation. We'll wrap up for here. Thank you for joining on the, us on this experience. Let me close the door so Mom and Dad don't kill us. I don't even have time to jump over this one. Fuck. You didn't really last time. Not either, really, but... no. <laughs> that was uh, kind okay. of disappointing. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us. That was a lot of fun. I had a great time. I'm actually, I, if you want to do this more often, I'm totally 100%. game. 100%. Because it's a lot I am, of fun. I am 100% down. Uh, yeah. I think, I think, we'll wrap up for here. And then, I don't really know if I have any plans to stream again next. Do you have anything you want to plug? Uh. To the, to like three people <laughs> watching? Uh. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at NJOblivion. Oblivion spelled with an A. O B L I V I A N. That's all of the stuff that I make ends up over there. And if you're too lazy to follow that link, you can go to my Twitter uh, <laughs> and check my retweet, uh, which is just the same thing as my username. Uh, That's uh, true. My Twitch name, so Avara underscore H A. Uh, Avara. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted on either my Discord or my Twitter on when I'm planning on streaming next, probably sometime in the next day or two. Probably do more Poppy Playtime speedruns because mm -hmm. I'm very much enjoying that. I want to get top 100, damn it. And you're um, close. Yeah, I'm really close, actually. Um, like 26, I think, spaces away. Yeah. Which is not bad. And I know a couple places where I can save time. So I'll, I'll probably work on that. And yeah. So thank you guys again. Thank you for joining me. This was a lot of fun. <laughs>
and uh, see you guys soon. See ya.